Yeah. Three C's, my P. Yeah. Whoa. Hey. Yeah. Whoa. Hey. Say what? Hey. Whoa. Three C's, my P. Yeah. Hey. It's going down. Whoa. Hey. Y'all know what Whoa. time it is. Hey. So, unfortunately, we have some pretty horrible shit to go through, the reason why I'm live again. Um, And, unfortunately, uh, I really don't know how to say what I'm about to say. Um, And I don't really want to drag this out or do this for content whatsoever. Uh, But from this point forward, I will no longer be talking to Mr. Pokey. His mom won't call me back and I really miss her and it's just difficult and I just don't know what to do because I love her and uh, he says that I can't talk to her anymore and it's... (laughs) Oh, Oh, man. You know how it goes, man. You know how it goes. Insane. Insane. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, I'll be real. Um, I just think chat was really cool this morning. And uh, I was thinking I could watch Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. 
Uh, but I'll be real. I kind of just wanted to chill with chat because y'all were so good this morning. And I mean that. I mean that genuinely. Uh, I think y'all were funny as fuck this morning. I thought it felt like uh, I had my old community back this morning. And uh, it was really good. It was really, really, really good. Uh, the YouTube community is losing their fucking mind. Uh, is what it is. It, hey, hey. Is what it is. Uh, I'll be real. Don't care. Straight up, don't care. <clears throat> yeah, they are not happy with me right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I feel like everybody uh, isn't happy with... Let's see, Lol Shinya. Why are they not happy... With lo oh my fourteen thousand views, damn, dude, damn, Shinya, get him, bro. Fourteen thousand views. M Dash quits Tectone's friendship. Tectone told me to make this video. Turns out ZZ was a fighting after all. Hex was right. Nobody can give you back time of your life. You're in a game you didn't enjoy. Does can't engage with players in four hours. Game's not worth it. Players have no obligation to finish the game. This isn't even about. It's not even about that. Damn. Anyways, about M test testing. Testing friendship was just weird. True. One thing I noticed: many most people who were defending Hex when they were accusing Tekton of misogyny and sexism were the same ones that turned on Hex the moment she came out and defended Tekton and called her a snake and having Stockholm syndrome. The very words M used during that live stream. Oh yeah, absolutely. People will act like the things that I do are worse. And attempt to take side to people they don't like just to be in opposition to me. Absolutely. Hold up. Been in there 48 months. Most people calling me a snake don't even like MDAS, they just hate you. Oh, I know, Hex. Oh, I know. Uh, I've made about 18 personal calls. Um, and everything is pretty much the same consistently with every person that I've talked to today. Uh, majority of them were just looking for a little bit of advice. I decided to take a little bit of time. Full disclosure, I did crank my shit. Uh, I thought I could be strong and then Shinya sent me some Nicole porn and I just couldn't fucking fight anymore. So I just said, fuck it. Uh, so I jerked off to Nikkei and HSR at the same time. That shit was awesome. Uh, yeah, that shit was lit. Uh, yeah, there's this crazy animation of Anise getting gang banged on the beach. That shit was awesome. Uh, yeah, I did that. Um, went to go eat. Uh, one of the waiters knew who I was. Gave me a note and said, you're awesome, Baldy, with a heart. Couldn't talk to me, I guess. I guess he was too nervous. Uh, is what it is. Uh, yeah, that was fucking hilarious. Um, and then, yeah, I had a long talk with Mr. Pokey. That was great. Uh, he's really excited about coming down here. And I'm going to let you guys know. Uh, get Nikkei get mad at you for not doing all of the content. To my knowledge, no. Yeah, to my to my knowledge, no. Uh, yeah. What is this? I should I should say this. this? Actually, yeah. You, no, you're right. You're right. Actually, that's a very fair statement. That's what a very it? fair statement. I just called him bad. A, he's a bad person. He's done good things. And I in the, in the art in the what is this? in the debate, I said like, yeah, you know what. I knew, but I learned about Gotcha because of you. He's not a bad. He's not. A, he's not a bad person to his friends. He's not like a. He's not like. He pays his taxes. You know, like, he's not committing any crimes. I just don't like him, and I don't want to be associated with him anymore. Then quit talking about me. 
They stopped talking about me. Uh, anyways, Jesus. Okay, anyways. G okay, anyways. The weirdest thing was MDAS insulting you the entire time and calling you names when you, you two were talking really immature. Uh, anyways, I, guy, I don't care. Straight up, don't care. Good. Don't send me clips. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I will be real. Okay, ready for this? Uh -huh. YouTube's going to love this one. <laughs> I got way too many viewers to worry about that trash. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Who cares? Uh, really, it is what it is. I don't care. Uh, yeah, sorry, man. Don't give a fuck. Anyways, yeah, I'll be real. I was only friends with uh, MTash for the content and the views. You know how I was using him for his views, man. Yeah, anyways, uh, I don't give a fuck. Stop sending me clips. Don't care. Is Hoyo viewbotting your stream, Lamau? I'm laughing at 360%. Let's see. Am I getting viewbotted right now? Is Hoyo viewbotting me? A lot of people were telling me they feel like they're getting botted. 364% of my stream is really fucking high. Uh, however, I did just go live. So, let's wait till the one hour mark and see if it evens out. Because at this point, uh, that's insanely high. I've never seen that high of a percent ever. Yeah, Pokey thought he got botted too. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, let's see how it looks in an hour. We'll check again in 49 minutes. Um, so, I know a content creator came out called Skull CJ, and he made a response video to me. And uh, apparently he thinks I fucked him over. And to be honest, maybe I did. Uh, Tectone called me out over ZZZ drama. Uh, I'm going to react to this whole video. Uh, but yeah, I think this guy has an issue with me and we'll see. Yeah, uh, who, who? Uh, yeah, this guy. I believe this is the dude who made the video called Zemla Zone Zero Sucks. The players are mad. ZZ and I think I reacted to this, which was a pretty controversial video to be fair. And uh, I am very curious what he thinks I did. Six hours to find the fun. The fun should be right there as soon as you start the game or a little bit into it. But five hours in and you're still saying, I'm trying to find what makes this game good. It's already a red flag. So let me give you my opinion. First off, I got to say the game looks good. The game graphically is pretty well done. The characters look well done. The cutscenes, the characters are well animated. But all in all, it just feels rushed and rather boring, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. I had to get off stream because I was falling asleep. I did. We would agree that out. saying the game feels rushed is just wrong, right? I remember this video being not good. Uh, yeah, I mean, the game feels incredibly polished. Uh, I actually am curious. I I've seen some comments saying, you're ducking this video, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and watch it. Uh, yeah, so, oh, hey, yo, YouTube. Uh, I was told that I was ducking this video. Lo I love that new trend. That's always fun. Uh, Tectone, you're ducking this video. Okay. Uh, yeah, apparently I upset some people because I said this guy's opinion sucked. <laughs> hey, man, I'll be real. Uh, welcome to the adult world, guys. Welcome to the adult world. Uh, that being said, maybe I did go too hard on this guy. I actually don't even remember. I think this was the, um, the ZZZ. Let me pull it up. This one, uh, Zemla Zone Zero sucks. The players are mad. Uh, this video got over 20% dislike, is what it is. I'm not really considering like to dislike racers for the launch of the game. They're always fucked up. I remember, I, I, I refreshed my memory a little bit a second ago. I'm going to be honest with you. I had to get off stream because I was falling asleep. Let, Let me go me, back. No, it just feels rushed. Look, well done. The cutscenes, the characters are well animated. But all in all, it just feels rushed and rather boring, bro. Yeah, I remember I thought a lot of this guy's video was pretty bad uh, for the opinions that he had. That being said... Your opinions are your opinions, absolutely. But uh, yeah, I definitely disagree. I don't. I don't think that many people think that Zenla Zone Zero feels rushed. If anything, it feels very polished. It's a very, very, very shiny piece of shit. Uh, that's what a lot of people are saying. But um, yeah, I'm willing to see. Maybe I was wrong. Who knows? 
Uh, and maybe I misrepresented this guy. Let's find out. Uh, regardless, Skull CJ, uh, I do still like you, Skull CJ. If you ever want to talk, I sent you a message on your other video. Uh, I'm not sure if you're ever going to Twitter DM me. Maybe you did. Let me check. Before I say anything. He did. Okay. Sorry to late reply. I was streaming. Is this one now? Let me send him yo again. Yo, wanna talk. Uh, that being said, nothing but love. But uh, maybe it was pretty messy. Let's 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 restart this video. I was told I fucked up. I'm gonna watch this video now. Yeah, this guy's from the Skull CJ, the guy who made this take, which was uh, that Zenless Zone Zero felt rushed, whereas I think it's very polished. A very, very, very polished, shiny piece of shit. And I said this guy's opinion was bad, which is uh, illegal in 2024. Welcome to the adult world, guys. People disagree. Insane. Uh, but we're going to go in here. We're going to see what happened. And uh, maybe I fucked up. Let's find out. Let's go. I never gave that guy no way to back out. Okay. That guy could have literally just made a reaction to my reaction and True. said, here's my viewpoints. True. So I no. actually did give him an out. When you're True. saying, I give no one any outs. What's True. good, guys? So today we got a reaction to Tectone. Pretty much hey, look at that! You see? All I said was, hey, man, if I misrepresented the guy, re-react, I'll be there. I like to keep it very fair. I do like to keep it very fair. And if you ever want me to not react to your videos, I will simply just not react. And then if I ever you think my video or my reaction sucked, make a video letting me know. It's all good. All right, cool. I respect this guy. Much saying that he wants me to give my opinion regarding sure. what he had to say about my video. Okay. And before I keep going with this, I want to say I respect everybody involved in this topic, whether it's Tectone, MTAS, or anyone in between. Okay. And I also want to clarify that I think that... I have no idea what MTAS has to do with anything involving this, but okay. Any arguments, drama, or, huh? you know, heated debates that stem from Gotcha are highly unnecessary. We should just be able to talk things out. At the end of the day, we're just gamers or entertainers trying to... Um, I think in an ideal sense, people should be able to talk things out. However, I like to bring this back to communism. And when you're a little kid, you think, oh yeah, communism makes sense. Everybody gets everything and everybody gets treated equally. But then you realize, well, that's just not real. And then there's, you know, imbalances and abuses of power. And while it would be nice if everything could talk things out... Um, that is not the case because a lot of people hate each other's guts. I mean, there are quite literally commenters and content creators who will quite literally be on the opposite side of anything and or anybody that I talk to or anything that I say just because I was the guy who said it. And, uh, I'll be real. I enjoy it. It keeps things very interesting. Uh, I love reading my comment section after the videos and saying, oh, this guy, ah, yeah, and you're banned. Hey, you're banned. Oh, it's so good. It's like erotic. When I get to see somebody trying to be an annoying piece of shit, and they type out like these four paragraph essays, and I go, and you're banned. Only takes me a second. It's awesome. I know they spent two to three hours crafting this shit, and I go, shablam, dead. Oh, it's so, oh, God. Leave me in my echo chamber alone so we can jerk off on each other. Feels great. To find something to cover or play now with that out of the way the reason i'm making this reaction is because a lot of you guys actually sent me this clip you guys want me to give my take on okay. this and just overall say what i have to say so i 31 minutes man holy yapper haven't really watched everything that is going on here okay but i have seen some things and we're going to begin reacting to it once again tech tone mtash if you guys want to talk to me feel free to send me a message on discord wait what is this video talking about because i'm not talking about mtash anymore is this video about MDash? If this is a video about MDash, I'm just not talking about it. What 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 is this? Because I'm I'm done with that guy. Why 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 are we? What, what are we doing? What is this? Probably, I'd rather do things private because I'm not in this particular topic for views or anything. I'm only making this video because uh, literally it was said I gave him a way out or I did not not give him a way out. Okay, yeah, so sure. Let's go ahead and click play and see what this has to offer. Okay. A great example is literally in your discussion last night. You're saying all these people that uh, are bashing on the game and hate trading on it. And, and you're talking about them needing to to, to, to continue playing it or, or to like to for more information to be out there before they hate train on it. It's like, who? Who specifically is doing that? Would you yeah. like me to link you? Yes, I would right. love to. I, I would like for you to specifically I will link you it, link link you it right now. Who is now. hate training on it? And I got they've you. never even played the game. I got you okay. right now, man. Perfect. Let me see this creator that. So look what MTash said. Who is hate training the game yep. without having even played it? 
Okay. Has not even downloaded really the game or played it. And is I got you, man. Perfect. There I want to see it. So the video is 200,000 views. I upload. Uh, he goal posted. Uh, he moved the goal post. Because my original argument is people who have barely played it. There was never a single point where I had ever said that people who have never played the game, I said people who have barely played the game. And I think that if you have played the game, a gotcha game for like less than two hours, less than, it, it really depends, two hours, 10 hours, and you can't even see the end game content, I think there was an opportunity for people to just go ahead and uh, side with the angry mob, kind of like Twitter. Uh, I'm not saying that you can't have an opinion. Everybody's allowed to have an opinion. Um, but I think people who play more will have a more valid opinion because they've seen more. However, first impression opinions are also very important. So as long as you disclose that, it is what it is. Loaded it uh, one day ago. This guy. This is the guy that I'm referring to. This is the guy where I said he's hating the game. So this is my video right now, and he's saying I am hating the game. He's barely fucking touched it. I barely fucking touched it. Yep. He has view keep keep in mind this video that was made was made within 24 hours of Zen the Zone releasing. Uh so yeah, that was my initial impression. I'm not sure if he disclosed the amount of time. Maybe he did. Um but yeah. Uh this was very early on in the game's life. So keep in mind the, the game the game is only three days old as of time of recording. Viewpoints that he cannot defend. I cannot defend my viewpoints. Sure. This guy. Which one? The ZZZ one? Oh, sure. oh, Zenless Zone Zero is a complete... And I don't think I should have said cannot defend. I should say he didn't elaborate properly on. Like, for example, Skull CJ, when you said the game feels rushed, um, this is not true, right? Like, it just simply just not true. It's incredibly polished. Fleet failure posted by Z -Z -Z. Skull CJ, which initially pissed me off because he used your words for the premise of the video. Right, which I... I saw this is, yeah like, i saw this video so this is the guy who i'm talking about so the point that you just said where i'm doing that 90 percent of the time with the argument is completely wrong true hold on yep because i don't do that i don't do this shit to win true he played six hours for that video l tech tone someone up there said he said it was his first impressions after playing several hours he has played the game too yep once again Fully aware that was a misspeak and also a goal post on MTash's part. Uh, it was never about people who have never played the game. It was people who have barely played the game. We can all have our difference of opinions, but I'm sure that if someone only played six hours of an MMORPG and they told you the entirety of their thoughts on the gameplay, uh, I think you would think it was a little bit silly because as we all know, the games get a lot more complex the further you go into it. But uh, yeah, if it was disclaimed to be a first impression video, that's an absolute apology on my end. Okay, but hey, six hours playing a game a lot. Um, it depends on the game, right? Like, so for example, if you were to play Little Nightmares for six hours, you would beat the whole thing. Uh, if you played Genshin Impact for six hours, you probably would have fought in three Hillichurls, um, and maybe been AR rank twelve. And I think you know, there's a lot more than that. But he's in the game, playing the game himself, like in this video, he's using our sure. clips, and he says things like, I just find the game weird. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just weird, right? All right. I want to clarify. Sure. I did not say I just find the game weird. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just weird. I never said those words. And matter of fact, I have my video right here. Um, I am actually very confident that that was said. So you guys can go ahead and hear exactly what I said. Now it is already here because this is just the intro they were talking about sure. clips from other creators. And this is the part where I say subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. You guys are more than welcome to come to the channel, check out the video yourselves and tell sure. me what you think. So here we go. Let's play it. I want to give you my personal opinions after having played for about six hours on stream. Sure. So right off the bat, I say I have played six hours. True. So I don't really know where the whole idea came from that I had not played the game. Um, That was never said by me. That was said by M Tash. He changed it from barely played to never played. And uh, yeah, uh, it was just a goalpost uh, debate tactic. That's all that was. Uh, I never thought there was anybody who's never played the fucking game shitting on it. Uh, yeah, I thought there was people who were barely played. I would still consider six hours of Zenless barely played, but everybody's opinion is their own. Some people want to know if they like the game within 30 minutes. And I think that's fine for certain genres. We can always disagree. Um, like, for example... Uh, if you were to play a platformer like Crash Bandicoot or Spyro for 30 minutes or two hours, yeah, it's absolutely valid, right? The gameplay is going to stay the same. But I think for games that have evolving type of gameplays and worlds and stories, I think giving them their due diligence and giving it a little bit longer is a little bit important. But uh, everybody can uh, agree to disagree. That's just my opinion for these impressions. Once again, you can do whatever you want. If this was disclosed that it was your first impressions, then great. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
And I do want to clarify, I know this is sure. not Endgame. I know sure. there's probably a lot more to the game, and there's a lot of other things that I can be doing. Mm -hmm. I can be getting stronger and fighting more difficult bosses. Sure. But I think this quote is very important, and it was said by someone on my stream. Sure. So, once again, I acknowledge that there is more content that I have yet to try out yep. that can change my opinion, that can be a lot more complex and harder. Oh, great. That's exactly what I'm saying. Great. Yeah, then we're all on the same page here. Great. But my opinion is from my first five or six hours of gameplay. Sure. So basically, this is a first impressions video, and I tell you why it is that I feel that way. Let right. And I guess it would have been cool if it was stated that way, but I guess you could say because he said I've played for six hours that technically it was. But okay, sure, I can, I can acknowledge that. Let's hear the quote from someone on my stream. You should not be playing for five, six hours to find the fun. Uh -huh. I've played for five, six hours, and I was not enjoying myself. Okay. Therefore, I feel that I have the right to make a video explaining why it is that I did not have fun. Once again, a first impression types video. Okay. So we're going to go into the reasonings as to why it is that I didn't enjoy myself for my first five to six hours of the game. Great. The fun should be right there as soon as you start the game or a little bit into it. But five hours in and you're still saying, I'm trying to find what makes this game good. It's already a red flag. So... Let me give you my opinion. First off... Yeah, I agree. If you're playing this game for five, six hours, I would just say, yeah, just quit the game if you don't like it. Absolutely. But I do think there is a difference between playing the game for five or six hours versus being a content creator and trying to put out a review with the title of, this game fucking sucks and all the players hate it. Obviously, that's not the exact title, but uh, Zemla Zone Zero sucks and the players are mad. Uh, could be a little bit misleading. And I hope we can at least acknowledge that that title's a little bit misleading. I gotta say, the game looks good. The game graphically is pretty well done. The characters look well done. The sure. cutscenes, the characters are well animated. But all in all, so before I even begin to go in depth as to why I did not enjoy the game, sure, I've already said some positive things about the game. So this whole sure. hating, heavily attacking the game, I don't know where they're coming from. I feel that I articulate myself quite well and I explain my reasonings like a grown adult. Point. I, I think it's because your title is Zenless Zone Zero Sucks, The Players Are Mad. Uh, I think it comes from right there, uh, from the title of your video, right? I, I think we can acknowledge that, once again, and I think clickbait is absolutely fine. I do it myself, absolutely. Um, but <laughs> I think we can acknowledge that the title <laughs> is pretty rage, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't going to attract anybody happy with that title, Right? So, like, I feel like, come on, let's let's just be a little bit reasonable here. I think we know where that came from. Pointing out the good and the bad in the game, but let's continue. Uh, it just feels rushed and rather boring, bro. I think saying the game feels rushed, once again, is a foul take. Uh, once again, you're always entitled to your own opinion. But I don't think anybody thinks this. Maybe there are. This game, to the majority of players, I really don't think feels rushed. It is pretty polished on all regards. I'm going to be honest with you. I had to get off. You can say underwhelming, though, for sure. But rushed, I don't think that's a proper adjective. Stream because I was falling asleep. I did play for six hours, but I just found it kind of boring. And I don't know what it is. It could be the fact that I don't. Once again, and let's just double check here real quick. I want to give the guy the benefit of the doubt, right? But this, this video was made day one. Let's just double check, right? Let's just be, let's just be fair. Okay. So this game came out, uh, I believe July 4th in which he was live, right? Uh, but I believe he played it on July 5th or he's played every single time off stream or maybe he's only playing because I have his I have it. July 3rd oh yeah July 3rd okay July 3rd okay uh all right is there a way I can find the VOD all right let's watch it so this is when the video would have been posted let me just double check I want to make sure I'm not misrepresenting this guy so he said ring bro this video was posted three days ago on July 4th. He said this after he's been streaming for six hours. Okay. 
And then on July 4th, he would have played the game. It does say six hours. Let's just double check. Okay. You're he gets into the game. And he gets two Neko Mio Mana. Okay. They're just simply I'm gated this game. Okay. Three. Right. Okay, and he suffered through it for about six hours. Okay, great. And right there, I don't know what it is. If you paused it right there, you can go ahead and say, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't even give us the reasons as to why. But if you just listen for a little bit longer, don't really get involved with the stories of these gacha games. And I know some of you might come and tell me, well, that's the point of the Hoyo games. It's the Wait, which is what I said. Story, but let's keep it a stack. So I acknowledge the fact that maybe uh. my impressions are biased because I don't get involved with the story of Hoyoverse games, and that might be a strong point. I already uh, Yeah, absolutely. I feel like if you have played a Hoyoverse game, um, I don't believe there's any Hoyoverse game that's known for anything other than its story. Uh, yeah, majority, that is how it goes. And I think that would lead people to believe that perhaps these games just aren't for you because... Genjin's for the story, Honkai Star Rail for the story, Honkai Apex Third for the story. So yeah, if you don't enjoy stories, probably playing uh, Zillow Zone Zero probably isn't the best idea. Is, is, that, is that fair to say, guys? Am I crazier? Is that fair to say? Like, you play the game for the story and the characters, uh, and that's pretty much majority... I think that's pretty fair. Yeah, majorly, majorly fair. Okay, it looks like we're agreeing that it's majorly fair. Think that out myself. Mm -hmm. Zone Zero was advertised... As a combat heavy game. Yeah, it was. And well, the combat also falls short. As some Yeah, I also make that point as well. Someone else said earlier in the video, a game like Genshin has way deeper combat than this game. Imagine that. You know what's really weird about these videos is that these people continue to say these opinions that I already agree with as if they are the opposition. Right? And I think that's what's incredibly dangerous right now that's happening in the community where people are coming at me with things that I already know and pretending that I don't know them, or people are saying things that I agree with and pretending that I disagree with them. And uh, yeah, I thought I've made this very clear by pulling out my whole wholehearted thoughts out on a video, but it seems people are still confused. And at a certain point, I have to assume that it's intentional uh, because it's, oh my God, it's fucking infuriating. <laughs> It is, uh, it's freaking infuriating. I think Skull is being a bit disingenuous reacting to your words during the MDESH argument where it had been two full days since you have watched the video and we're just speaking off the cuff. He should have re reacted to your initial video. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. And uh, I don't want to fault Skull CJ for this. And I'm, I'm sure the comment section will be fucking furious about this because uh, they don't understand the context of all this. But that's absolutely okay. Now, all of this is mm -hmm. opinion-based. This is not a fact. This is just people's opinion. They might think that Genshin has more in-depth combat or Honkai Star Rail or Zenla Zone Zero, but this sure. is 100% opinion-based, pretty much like the rest of the video, being as it's a first impressions video. Way deeper combat. When it comes to this game, the combat mechanics feel rather plain. They don't feel, mm. like, deep. And Once again, he stated that it was six hours in, but in the title and the thumbnail, it wasn't stated as such. Uh, let, me just double, let me just double check here real quick. Uh, Skull CJ. Yeah. And I think for me, I probably wouldn't have been, had an issue with it if it was just like, yeah, this is my first thoughts in the first six hours, but I think it also kind of felt like he was saying in perpetuity, as the title says, this game fucking sucks. The players are mad, right? They're not polished. When you land a parry, a dodge, or anything like that, or a stun, it just doesn't feel like you're actually hitting something, if that makes any sense. No, that makes no fucking sense. I mean, the, the parries feel orgasmic. The dodges also feel fantastic. Uh, I think that's another reason why I disagreed heavily with this video, uh, is because the dodges and parries feel absolutely incredible comparatively to pretty much any other gacha. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but basically there's no weight behind your hits. And so far, I think that I'm... There is, there's quite a lot. I'm doing a lot more to explain how I feel about the game than simply saying it's weird... I don't know how to explain it. It's just weird. I'm pretty sure that what I've said so far explains how I feel and why I feel that way quite well. And we're only halfway through the video. Sure. But I hope that you understand, Skull CJ, that you saying the parries and dodges don't feel good, uh, I think is just cap because they feel great. It feels like you're just throwing something out there. When it comes to the character's ultimate abilities, they don't feel ultimate at all. 
They feel like just a shiny little skill that is rather quick. I come from trying games like, you know, Genshin Impact, Weathering Waves, and when it comes to our- Oh, this take- wait! I forgot how many bad takes were back to back and back in this video. This- this is the dude that people are upset about before? That's insane. It's his opinion? Yeah, but it's just fucking wrong. <laughs> like, like, come on. Like, if somebody were to tell you Lord of the Rings is a great gay romance flick, wouldn't it kind of fucking tilt you? Like, bro, this is just wrong. Oh my god, I think it's I think it's way better just to fucking talk to this guy. Oh my god, dude. Okay, Jesus Christ. Lord of the Rings is kind of gay though, true. Our ultimate animations, they look really good and very flashy, so I was expecting something like that. Now, once again, this is opinion-based. There are characters in Genshin Impact. Okay, I'm sorry, bro. If you give it an opinion and your opinion fucking sucks, I'm gonna say your opinion fucking sucks. And your opinion just fucking sucked. Straight up. Like, I can't even feel bad for you, bro. Like, that is just a wrong opinion. If you think that Genshin's alts have felt better than Zenla Zone Zero, they feel fucking identical. If you think the parry and dodges feel underwhelming, show me a gacha game where they're better. But you can't invalidate his opinion because you don't agree with the tech. Yes, I fucking can! What fucking law says that I can't say your opinion sucks balls? What the fuck are you on about? Do you understand what humans do? Humans talk about their differences in opinions. Bro, if somebody says some dumb shit, like, oh, Berserk's overrated. Vinland Saga's overrated. You bet your ass I'm going to be at their throat. What the fuck type of pussy bitch motherfucker do you think you're watching? God damn, y'all so goddamn soft, it's ridiculous. You tell me I have to listen to this garbage and pretend like it makes sense? Absolutely not. Y'all dumb as fuck if you think that's not how the world works. Jesus, somebody go up and tell you Barbie's a, Barbie's a show for men. My Little Pony isn't weird to watch at 50. Well, that's your opinion and that's okay. That's okay. That's just your opinion. Shut the fuck up. You limp dick motherfucker. Absolutely not. What the fuck are you on about? Insane. Who literally don't. Now, I need to know genuinely. Y'all motherfuckers think it's not okay to tell someone else their opinion sucks? So let me get this right. You can come into my stream and say L take, and that's fine. And if I tell somebody else L take, oh my God, I can't believe he invalidated his opinion. Good God, bro. Shut the fuck up. Dumb as shit. What the fuck is this shit? Don't have an animation like a big flashy animations to their ultimate, and there are others that have very nice animations. Are they better than Zenla Zone Zero? That is opinion based. Personally, I think some of them are. In Weathering Waves, I think most of the ultimate animations are better than Zenla Zone Zero, but once again, it's all opinion based. But I'm once again explaining exactly how I feel and why I feel that way. I'm not just saying, Yeah, but you're wrong though. <laughs> Yeah, but you're wrong, though. You know what I'm saying? The game is weird, and I don't know why. Now, there's more that is just the combat, because the combat is just very, very plain, but it could be because I'm only, you know, about level 15 or 16, something along those lines, and maybe as I get deeper and deeper into the game, that is just the combat, because the combat is just very, very plain, but it could be because I'm only, you know, about level 15 or 16, something along those lines, and maybe as I get deeper and deeper into the game, the combat is going to be a lot more interesting and all that good stuff, but so far... It just wasn't hitting. Level 15 is insane. Okay. Level 15 is insane. So, once again, I acknowledge that once I get deeper into the game, things can be different. 
Things can change, Great. my opinion can change, and the combat that so far I have found boring can become intricate and entertaining. Great. But since this is a review of the very beginning of mm -hmm. the game and my first impressions of the game, mm -hmm. I can talk about how I felt so far regarding this particular part of the game. Uh -huh. On top of that, the menus of the game, all the things that it tells you to do, all the places that you gotta click, seem a little cluttered. I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I don't like all these things that tell me click here, look at this, and then when you go to the menu, it just feels like there's a lot of shit going on in the menus. On top of that, you have a menu within the menu. So this is what cluttered looks like, right? Let's look up cluttered user interface. This is what cluttered looks like. Okay? Right? That's cluttered. I don't know how you think this is cluttered. Are we are we seeing are we seeing the difference here? Are we seeing the difference here? All right, great. So, once again, this might not feel cluttered to some people. This might not feel like it's complex or hard to get around, but it did to me. I was a little bit confused trying to find- I, 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 I find it's insane. I find it's insane that people don't get why this video tilted the shit out of me. I find that, I find that insane. I find that insane that this guy says the UI feels cluttered. The combat system feels no weight at all with parries and dodge and the game feels rushed and people don't understand why I smoked this fucking dude's opinion. Like what else? What else? Like, okay. Genuism. Do you guys get it now or no? Cause I feel like I'm losing my mind. Yeah, we get it. Okay. And I'm also going to do this guy a favor and I'm not going to post this on YouTube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this guy in a Discord call, uh, and we're going to talk. Uh, and I think that's way better. I'm also curious to see if he's live right now, because I really would like to get him into a call right now. Uh, what is this dude's name? Skull CJ. Yo, what up, Black? Uh, yeah, we're gonna follow this dude. When does he stream? Barely any. So he streamed yesterday, so there's a chance that he goes live today. Let me know if this guy goes live. Yo, what up, Black? Find certain things like the logout button, the mail, yada, yada, yada. So I feel that I'm entitled to say why it is that I find it to be... Let me rephrase that. He streams a lot for normal streamers. For me, I'm mentally ill, so he doesn't stream as much compared to me, but he still streams quite a bit for a normal guy. Cluttered. There's a menu within the menu. There's a lot of things telling me where to click. There's a lot of different points of interest when it comes to this menu. A lot of buttons, a lot of different things. And for that reason, I found it to be not well optimized. So once again, I'm clearly structuring my reasonings as to why I find things the way they, they are. Or things different okay. Cluttered to some people. I can talk about how I felt so far regarding this particular okay. part of the game. On top of that, the menus of the game, all the things that it tells you to do, all the places that you gotta click, seem a little cluttered. I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I don't like all these things that tell me click here, look at this, and then when you go to the menu, it just feels like there's a lot of shit going on in the menus. On top of that, you have a menu within the menu. So once again, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be real. I just, I just feel like that's just fucking wrong, just straight up wrong. But once again, um clearly structuring my reasonings as to why I find things the way they, they are or the way I do. I feel that they could have organized this a lot better and a lot nicer. So and this is where I said, yeah, make it a square. It's not so cluttered and so confusing for a lot of people. Now, <laughs> it's only confusing because it's new. This might be just, it's a brand new game. I'm not used to the menus just yet. It is, I just got to get used. And then I said, oh, great. He, he found that out. The menus, but in all honesty, yep. it does feel a little cluttered when it comes to the menus. Now, once again, I say, I might need to get used to it. It might be a me thing. Maybe uh -huh. I just need to play a little bit more. True. So I'm being very 
chill and respectful True. with how I say my opinions. True. Where I say, hey, I feel this way, but maybe it's my lack of knowledge. Maybe it's the fact that I haven't experienced it enough. Absolutely. I Absolutely. feel that a person should be entitled to give their first impression, especially after having played five, six sure. hours. Sure. As long as they're, as you saw, Absolutely justifying fair. them correctly, while also saying, hey, listen, things might change. Maybe I just need to get a little bit more accustomed to it. Sure. So I don't sure. get where this is seen as me hating. Hate is a strong word, and so far from my video alone... So is the word cluttered. <laughs> so is the word cluttered. Uh, once again, the hate training is from the title of the video. Hopefully that makes sense, from the forefront of the video. Yeah, uh, so once again, the, the I'm hating is just from the title of the video. I don't find myself hating on anything. On top... Once again, it's because your title is Zenless Zone Zero Sucks, the players are mad. For that, the characters. And this might just be my personal opinion, and I know this is going to get me a lot of hate. I'm about to get into hot waters, but once again, personal opinion. Right. But you yourself then acknowledged what you're about to say is going to get you a lot of hate. You see what I'm saying? Like, you, you're you aware of what's going on, right? Hopefully, Hopefully we get it now. This is just how I feel about the game, and I'm not just saying, oh, this, that. I'm once again explaining clearly why it is that I see things this way. Sure. Why is there so many children? <laughs> True. And I'm not talking about one, right? I'm not talking about two. I'm not talking about three. Yep. Matter of fact, I'm not talking about four. You know what? I'm not even talking about five. Yep. Or six. I agree with this point. I agree. There is just a whole lot of children in this game. True. And if they don't have children, guess what they have? Whole furries. Now, there is nothing wrong with the furry community. You guys can go ahead and like your furries. I have no problem with that. But the fact that we got all these cheering is kind of weird. That's my True. point of view. True. I understand there's a whole culture behind gacha gaming and all you guys have said. But personally, for my taste, it's uh, a combat heavy game and there's a lot of... Sure childlike looking characters right i once again give my reasoning as to why the characters aren't really vibing with me we don't got a lot of whole grown male or female characters yes there are some out there that look quite good but i'm just saying there's a whole lot of children in this game and that's a little weird sure i mean it's a combat game there's a lot of big monsters laying around i think this can be completely summarized by me saying this it's not that he wasn't able to defend his opinions is that his opinions were bad uh, the hate training thing is absolutely true, though. Absolutely. Uh, with that title, that's pretty much the only purpose of that title, right? Uh, otherwise, you would have just put my first impressions of Zemla Zone Zero. I think Zemla Zone Zero sucks. The players are mad. It's a pretty strong title. Uh, I'm going to talk to this guy on stream, uh, and we'll just get to the bottom of it. And then, uh, yeah, that'll pretty much be it. And then uh, we'll post the conversation on YouTube. I uh, feel like it's pretty straightforward. And, uh, yeah, is he here? I got no idea. But I'm hoping that somehow uh, I reach him. We're, we're in each other's DMs. And, uh, yeah, he's also been messaging me since May 19th. So the guy's clearly a viewer or at least knows who I am. Uh, but, yeah, uh, last time he messaged me was at 1 a.m. Yeah, cool. Uh, damn, another drama video incoming. Uh, no, I don't think it'll be drama whatsoever. I think it'll be easy. You said this about the UI before. You spend too much time in the TV, very little time doing the combat. Huh? Uh, the UI looks good, but lacks clarity. So what I mean by that is, sure. is that I can open up like a menu in this game. Yep. And it'll like look really good. True. Like it'll look very pretty. Yep. But I don't really know what I'm doing there. Yep. There's a really good DVD screen that I think I can pull up. Uh, oh, Bang Boo won't allow me because I'm... Everything that I just said here is the exact same thing that I said. Right? So, once again, everything that I said here is the exact same thing that I just said. So, hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, there's not really any... I know we really want a caught moment, uh, but yeah, there's not really any caught moment whatsoever. So hopefully that makes sense. The story locked, how fun. No, I have a wonderful article that also talks about their issues as well. Uh, but yeah, I feel like the UI looks very good, but I don't understand it without reading things. And that might sound like a, well, then just read it. But like, 
Yeah. You got to understand, we're in 2024, 2023. I should be able to understand what something is based on the icon alone. Yep. Otherwise, what is the point of that icon? There's nothing. Yep. There's no point. And that's why I call the video my brutally honest thoughts on Zen Zone Zero. So, uh, this isn't really a caught moment. Uh, but yeah, everything that I just said, uh, I still agree with. Uh, yo, what up, boys? If this dude hate trains by making a clickbait, were you hate training MTash by saying he quits in your video titles? Uh, yeah, I was. I wanted to send hundreds of people over at him to harass him. Yeah, that was my whole ploy. Absolutely. Uh, no, it definitely wasn't because the MTash I quit thing was a fucking meme. A known meme in the entire community. Uh, if you're here, I want to really encourage you guys to leave a like and a comment and to subscribe. This is going to be about something that I really enjoy talking about, which is pros and cons of closed beta number two for Zenless Zone Zero. I'm not here to hurt people's feelings. I'm not here to present my opinion as objective. Uh, I can only give you some thoughts that I've been mulling over for the past little bit, and I'm looking for feedback from you guys, and I will most likely make a follow-up video on this based on what people like or when does clickbait become hate training? Um, I think it's pretty common when you say, this thing really sucks, everybody doesn't like it. What do you think that is? Like, once again, I'm not saying that hate training is an inherently illegal thing to do, but at least acknowledge that's what's happening. You know? It's clickbait? Sure, and what do you think that clickbait is doing? And why do you think that title is there? Do you know what I'm saying or no? Right. That video is not hate training, riding my man, I don't know. Let's get, let's, let's Google what the definition of hate training is. Is this even a real thing? Okay. The strong disliking of a specific person, concept, or object manifested in a metaphorical abstract train. Right. So, what, once again, I need to make this very clear. I clickbait. Okay? I also, in the past, and still to this day, will absolutely dabble in hate training, but I won't deny that I'm doing it. I feel like it's very fair to say that if someone says, this game sucks, everybody hates it, do we just, so then do we just forfeit that the title has to do nothing with the video? Do we just, do we just forfeit that? Or, or what video, like, what reason do you think someone were to put that title? What viewers do you think they are trying to attract? I really feel like it's not that, Chad, it is 1 million percent clickbaiting, but what viewers do you think he's trying to clickbait? What viewers do you think he's trying to attract with that title? The same you do. Absolutely. But I'm not feigning ignorance. Do you see what I'm saying? People with a strong opinion about ZZZ. And do you think those people's strong opinions are positive or negative? Do you think they're positive or negative? Why do people think clickbait means no hate train? They aren't mutually exclusive. Hold up, they'll get there. Positive. <laughs> You're so full of shit. Dude, 
Dude, dude, you're so full of shit. Hex Juice video 13 hours ago. Why does everyone hate Zenla Zone Zero? Hex Juice, what viewers were you trying to attract? What videos, what people were you trying to attract? Were you thinking, oh, you know what? I'm going to make this video for all the people who love the game. The sexiest ones. Yep. Yep. Oh my God, bro. It's almost like the negative videos get more views. Abso-fucking-lutely. Now, now, those videos do get more views for things that people have a negative opinion on. However, as we've seen case in point with Genshin Impact, overly positive videos also get a ton of views. You just have to pick which polarization that you want. Right? That's why my YouTube fucking sucks. Because I'm too neutral and fair. And I need to go back to my roots. That's why I take other people's clickbait titles and that way I can fan accountability. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chat, use code BALDY for 10% off gamer subs. Absolutely. All right, so are we gonna are we gonna keep playing pretend here, or are we gonna are we gonna understand what's going on? Are we ready? Are we ready to be big boys? Are we ready to be big boys? No, you're wrong. Oh well. <laughs> I can't help you then, bro. I I really can't help you then. Better yet, better yet, better yet. Find a content creator in my chat, and I want you to elect them to argue your side, and I'll get them in a call right now. Um, They cannot be a female, because y'all are going to get weird. Right? So, you guys can pick. Who, who would you like, who would you like to argue for? I think, I think someone's saying, I don't know where the hate training term came from. When your title is, this game sucks, everybody hates it. <laughs> it is a little bit ironic. Shinya? Fine. I will call Shinya. All right. Yo. Yo, what up? What are you doing? Oh, uh, working, but you know, you know how, how it goes. How's the day going? Oh, it's pretty quiet. It's a Sunday, so. Okay, great. I'm going to add somebody else to the call, too, here real quick. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Yo, I EO. Believe- EO, pick up the call. Yo, what, EO. What the fuck is going on? All right, so I'm here just to ask both of y'all a question, and you let me know if I'm out of line for this. Okay. So okay. I said there was another content creator that was hate training, AKA farming haters of the game. Right. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I said that was due to the title of their video and a couple of their points that in my opinion, were just bad opinions. The title of their video is, and I'm, I'm going to read it directly. Zenless zone zero sucks. The players are mad. Do we think that is a video designed to farm people who hate the game? That's a banger title right there, bro. It's I'm a great title. <laughs> it's a great title. But do do we think that's designed to farm people who hate the game? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. That is the only question I want to ask. I appreciate y'all's time. Is that yeah. what they're arguing about? Yes, they're saying that it's not doing that. Oh, 100% is. What? Yep. Well, it, the, the crazy part to me is that, like, why does everyone think they're an expert? on content creation when you've been doing this for four years eo i don't know how long you've been doing it but uh everyone's an expert in, in everything they're they're armchair content creators well i mean so, they, to be fair they do the exact same thing as me also it's it's, it's uh almost six where years, they're going uh for content creation uh but yeah it's done almost six years uh but yeah um i don't understand how chad is arguing this whatsoever but i think people yeah. are just trying to be difficult for the sake of being difficult uh 
but they did a great job. Here, let me ask another content creator. I appreciate y'all's time. No yeah, problem. Yeah. All right, please. Uh, we're going to call another content creator. Yo, Stearark, pick up. Yo. 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 Yo, 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 yo. 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 First of all, very good talking to you for the first time. I love your videos. Uh, do you have any big yeah. videos coming out soon or no? Uh, I'm making a video about, uh, what is it called? ZZZ. I asked the community what they want to add to ZZZ to fix it. Yeah. All of them are saying remove TVs though, but I'm trying to figure out how to do the video. <laughs> yeah. Hey, are you the guy where the guy said um, that he wanted to bomb you or something? Oh, yeah. That was me. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> that shit was insane. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I wanted, I wanted to... Um, I wanted to ask you a question real quick. Also, Mod, shout out to York's channel. Do you stream? Uh, not really. Okay, yeah, shout out to his YouTube guys. We're gonna go follow Stiorg. Really, one of my favorite content creators in the entire space. Really good videos, very clean to the point. Uh, I just want to ask you a question. So I got told that what I'm doing is wrong because I said another creator is hate training with his videos, which is essentially making a video that's designed to farm haters. Uh, and the title of their video is Zenless Zone Zero Sucks, The Players Are Mad. Would you agree or disagree that that title is designed to farm hatred of the game? Is th this is an argument? <laughs> yep, that's an argument. Oh, I wonder what I want to say. Yeah, <laughs> this is absolutely a hate train. Like, okay. What? All right. Yeah. I, what I, are we talking about, dude? I, I swear to God, I feel like I'm in Bizarro World lately with the, the with the comments on my fucking videos. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, but yeah, yeah. But yeah uh, let's talk soon. Let's get you on the next gotcha cast. Okay, sure, sure, sure. All right, cool. Peace, brother. That was cool. I like that guy a lot. His videos are so fucking good, dude. I love his outro too. Yo, peep this shit. It's so fucking clean. We'll also watch this. Yo. Since we got Jim, we're, we're actually gonna watch one of his videos right now just because we're here. But dude, his outro is so clean every time. Peep this shit. I love it. I actually look forward to it. I look forward to his videos ending. Lose your 50 50. Bye bye. Yo. Uh, I would like to say that I had all of those people's families at gunpoint before I asked for their opinion. Uh, and I am also, I want to also say uh, that me not, or me saying that, um, or me getting these content creators to come into a video or uh, a Discord call with me and agree, is because I can't admit that I'm wrong. Do you want me to tell you why I can't admit that I'm wrong on this, guys? You want to know why? I'm going to blow everybody's mind here. Because I'm not fucking wrong. And me not wanting to admit that I'm wrong because I'm not wrong is way different than me being wrong. Now, once again, I would like to bring... It forth to the fact that I watched that video and admitted that I was wrong about things three times. This is not a point that I'm going to pivot from. Okay. Anybody else jerking their shit right now? Uh, can you show their written consent to be on calls? True. I feel like people get really upset at me for just. Uh, hold up. I got a new video. I got a message from Yango, which reads, Hi, hope you're doing well lately. Just wanted to reaffirm that I'm still totally fine with you reacting to my videos. If I change my mind for whatever reason, I will DM you. Okay, love you, Yangi. Sorry that I don't like so many of your friends. But I still think you're cool and your vids are great. Cool. Yeah, okay. My chat spammed me on your stuff due to MTash's community, but I ignored and memed on them. Did watch a bit off stream today, though. Cool. I'm glad everybody's keeping up to date. Cool. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Nice. Uh, let me do this. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, all right. So, guys, uh, I feel like it is my responsibility to do something great. Uh, and I want to let you guys know that I plan on doing something fantastic. And I'm, this is not YouTube. 
This is not YouTube. Okay? This is not YouTube. Uh, I do want to just say, and I'm going to be talking to other gotcha content creators about this. Um, I feel like there's too much, too many gotcha content creators who are very good at what they do and are very entertaining and are afraid to do more variety on their streams. So I am going to start hosting variety nights for a lot of the content creators in the gotcha space in order to be able to relax and do something new inside of the community. And I'm going to start hosting those um, pretty frequently, most likely starting later this month or early next month, uh, as well as uh, me and Mr. Pokey plan on doing some co-op streams very soon uh, of games in the future. Uh, most likely we'll start with a co-op playthrough of Elden Ring uh, or a playthrough of Unchained, uh, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm going to start hosting a lot more things for smaller content creators and my buddies to kind of just uh, see that it's okay to do other things sometimes. It's good for their good old mental health. But yeah, we'll probably play Among Us and Fortnite and Mario Kart. And uh, yeah, we'll do something fun. Should be good. Uh, I'm not going to do it forever, but I at least want to do it for a little bit just to kind of help people dip their toes into that scenario. But uh, yeah, I was thinking about it. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Remember to check Hoyo Botting. All right, let's see here real quick. Am I getting bottom? Let's see. Uh, my normal viewer to user ratio is somewhere between 90 and 110%. Uh, so, we are currently at... Now nah, we're fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. Why the fuck is bro awake? Uh, I'm waiting for you to go live, Mr. Pokey, so I can raise you. Because I'm a good dude. He made a response. Incoming cat. <laughs> you think you don't get my ass with that, bro? You think I'm stupid? You think I'm dumb? Getting canceled part 25. I hate... I hate... How I'm not in any of these fucking clips. How is that even possible? Never mind, I'm the top clip. <laughs> Anyways, yep. Anyways, top clip. Dude, you know who should do more shit together? You know who would be a really good fucking collab? Dude, I'm telling you, match made in heaven. Antony Chen and Ziox. I feel like they would do crazy fucking content together. Because they're both just like wholesome dudes. Do those guys do anything or no? I think you're pigeonholing into Stockholm Syndrome if it wasn't gaslighting. What the fuck are you even talking about, bro? Shut the fuck up. You're literally just making shit up. List of Stockholm Syndrome CC. Shinya, Hex, Dior, Yango, EO, Mr. Pokey, Tech Town. True. Don't watch that type of shit? Oh. For some reason, the Asian guys like to stick together. I don't even think Zyox is Asian. Is he? I got I got no idea what that dude is. Pigeonholing, red herring, straw man. Yeah, I know, man. He doesn't look like it. Anthony just seems to kind of do stuff with Jake, and that's it. Zyox is a basement scoundrel. Oh, okay. I just know that Zyox is a ton of shit with uh, Zajif, uh, which I'll never understand. But I think those two would be good buddies. However, they don't talk to me, so, Sag. But I think those two should interact more. All right, cool. Let's do fallacies explained. All right. Uh, so because a lot of content creators have really tried to decide that they understand what these fallacies mean... Uh, I decided to make a video reacting to every logical fallacy that's been explained. Uh, so that way chatters and viewers know what these means before content creators try to manipulate you into believing a term that doesn't apply to their current scenario. Uh, case in point, straw man and cherry picking uh, and also gaslighting uh, are some of the most misused fallacies. And I think it's very important for the community to understand these words. That way they don't fall for some fake ass bullshit and make sure to understand the words 
before you believe that the content creator is using them right. All right? We're going to get educated, guys. We're going to get educated. Ad hominem is also great. Oh, let's go. Ad hominem fallacy. The ad hominem fallacy happens when someone attempts to discredit someone's argument with yep. personal attacks rather than the substance of the argument itself. Hasty yep. general. So let me give you an example. Uh, some guy says he wants to do a good thing, and you say it's impossible to do this good thing uh, because he did a bad thing before. Just because you did a bad thing before doesn't mean you can't do a good thing now. Realization. Haste. That being said, if somebody cheated on somebody else in a relationship, I probably wouldn't recommend dating them. Generalization, also known as the overgeneralization fallacy, happens when making a claim based on evidence that is just too small. Red herring fallacy. Yeah, so pretty much I do that one a lot, which is a hasty generalization where I'll see one Genshin Impact content creator say they like Klee, and then I'll say every Genshin Impact player is a pedophile. Right? So I do this one a lot. Hasty generalization, I do that shit non fucking stop. I'm so goddamn quick to judge. It is such a bad fucking habit. Uh, but I am trying to slow things down, as you can tell with my video game reviews. Anyways, I'm aware of my faults. I'm working on them. A red oh, a red herring. Great. Herring is something that misleads or distracts from a relevant or important question. It might be used to change the subject. To quote. Yep. But the problem is, is that people don't understand that. A red herring isn't someone using their own words against someone. A red herring is someone saying... Uh, hey, John, you need to go take the trash out. And then you say, oh, dude, mom, look, there's a fucking bomb. And then you run away, right? Uh, so that's actually what a red herring is uh, and nothing else. Okay, fallacy. To quoke is a technique that intends to discredit the opponent's argument by attacking the opponent's own personal behavior and actions as being inconsistent with their argument, therefore accusing hypocrisy instead of countering the actual argument. <laughs> to quote that's really good that's a really good one i didn't even know this one had a word that's a really good one i need to do that one more to quote tech tone you need to stop clickbaiting so much yeah but you clickbaited one time so you're a hypocrite <laughs> Dude, these debate tactics are so funny. Dude, 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 these tactics are so fucking funny. Insane. All right, cool. Slippery slope fallacy. In a slippery slope argument, a course of action is rejected because, with little or no evidence, one insists that it will lead to a chain reaction resulting in an undesirable end or ends. True. Special pleading fallacy. If Genshin Impact doesn't fix their game, I'm going to kill myself. Fallacy. Special pleading happens when applying standards, principles, or rules to other people or circumstances while making oneself or certain circumstances exempt from the same critical criteria without providing adequate justification. Loaded question. Wait, let's go back to this one again. Special pleading. Special pleading fallacy. Yeah. Special pleading happens when applying standards, principles, or rules to other people or circumstances okay. while making oneself or certain circumstances exempt from the same critical criteria without providing adequate justification. Oh, this one's great. So kind of like a rules for thee, but not rules for me. So when you say what other people can't do, and yet you yourself do it. And I think this is one that a lot of content creators in the space do, where they say, where they say this, this, and that is bad, yet they do the exact same thing. Very smart. Loaded question. A loaded question is a question that already contains an assumption. False dilemma fallacy. Yep. The false dilemma fallacy, also called the black and white fallacy, occurs when someone misrepresents an issue by offering only two options when more exist, or by presenting the options as mutually exclusive when they are not. Yeah, of course. Strawman fallacy. Here's a great one. Here's a great one. A strawman fallacy happens when one rebuts an argument by misconstruing it. Circular reasoning. So let's go over a this. We should relax the laws on beer. Fallacy happens when one rebuts a- So you're saying you want everybody to be an alcoholic. <laughs> so as we can all tell what a real straw man is versus what people think a straw man is. This is something that I actually never do, but people really think that I do because they don't get what a straw man actually fucking is. 
right? And they think the moment that you're saying, so you're saying, and so people think it's a straw man, but when you corroborate what they're saying is in essence and not pivoting to an overgeneralization, that is not a straw man. That is understanding what the person is saying and asking for clarity. Big difference. Because what I do is, before I go in for a counterpoint, I say, so is this what you're saying? Oh, it's not? Clarify. Great. I'll go. But what people end up doing is me say, so is this what you're saying? You're straw manning! No, I'm not. I am asking for clarity on what you're saying. It's an argument by misconstruing it. Circular reasoning. The circular reasoning fallacy is an argument that assumes the very thing it is trying to prove is true. Instead of offering evidence, it simply repeats the conclusion, rendering the argument logically incoherent. Uh, this is another really exhausting one. And parents do this shit a lot. Saying you're straw manning is basically straw manning. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Chad, it's time for me to go. Why? Because it's time for me to go. Why? Because it's time for me to go. Why? If you can continue to repeat the same answer towards the why and it doesn't give the answer, uh, that is because you're doing circular reasoning. Appeal to authority fallacy. Okay. It is a form of argument in which the mere fact that an influential figure holds a certain position is used as evidence that the position itself is correct. Appeal. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think when people say a doctor told me this or a lawyer told me this, well, at the end of the day, these people aren't exempt from mistakes. And so using that as a un undeniable fact is also very dangerous. Well, to nature fallacy. It's an argument in which it is proposed that a thing is good because it is natural or bad because it is unnatural. It's a fallacy because the unstated primary premise, what is natural is good, is typically irrelevant and an True. opinion instead of a fact. True. Composition fallacy. It's like how people are afraid of like artificial sweetener, right? It's like, ah... Just because it ain't natural doesn't mean that it's not good. It arises when one infers that something is true of the whole from the fact that it is true of some part of the whole. Division fallacy. What the fuck is that? Is that some opinion instead of a fact. Composition fallacy. It arises when one infers that something is true of the whole from the fact that it is true of some part of the whole. Because the tires made of rubber, the whole car's made of rubber. I have never seen anybody do this, but this must be the most brain dead shit I've ever seen. Division fallacy. The division fallacy occurs when one reasons that something that is true for a whole must also be true for all or some of its parts. Well, the... <laughs> yeah, this is very fair. And uh, I think this one can be used um, as probably a reference to Atsu, where I think the division fallacy or the composition fallacy, I believe it was called. A f yeah, the composition fallacy was where he would say, I don't want to talk to these creators because I see who they hang out with, right? And that must mean that they're bad without me even knowing them. But I think it's very important to understand that each people are different, and sometimes people just make bad friends. And I think this is a very horrible, uh, unfortunate that happens very often. Uh, but I, I can at least understand why people do that, right? Because I'm also underneath the belief that you are the people who you surround yourself with the most. However, from a content creator perspective, I also understand that these content creators aren't really your real friends anyways, so it probably doesn't really matter that much now, does it? Affirming the consequent. Affirming the consequent is the fallacy of taking a true conditional statement, such as, if the lamp were broken, then the room would be dark, under certain assumptions like, it is nighttime and the windows are closed, and invalidly inferring its converse, the room is dark so the lamp must be broken. Yep. Anecdotal fallacy. The anecdotal fallacy occurs when people use their limited personal experience to draw sweeping conclusions about a given topic. My uncle didn't go to college and he's a millionaire, so college is a waste of time. True? Appeal to emotion. True? Any truers? Hey, guys, guys, guys. I dropped out of college three times and I'm a millionaire. You don't need it. Fallacy. It's a technique characterized by the manipulation of the other person's emotions in order to win an argument, especially in the absence of factual evidence. This is what women do. Ah! Uh, uh. This is what women do. Anyways, this is what Hex Juice did. 
Anyways, moving forward. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I wish, but I got to feed my cats. Oh, man. <laughs> Burden of proof foul. Guys, can I have a subby wubby? I had a really bad fucking day. Policy. The burden of proof lies with the one who makes a claim, not the one who denies it. The burden of proof fallacy happens when a person tries to remove their need to provide proof for many reasons. No true Scott. True. When some, and I explained this in another conversation I was in. If you are going to accuse someone, if you are going to accuse someone of something, you need to understand it's your job. It is your job to provide that fucking proof. It is not the other person's job. You say something, you prove it. And if not, move forward. And that's it. You are guilty of this a lot when... When... When? 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 You accused me. So when? And that's why you can't say nothing. Dumbass! Scotsman fallacy. It's an attempt to defend a generalization of a certain group by excluding any counterexamples for not being pure enough. Texas sharp the the only the only time I can ever think that I might be guilty of that is with Atsu but then Atsu's own evidence attempting to counterpoint that actually leaned more towards confirming what he said he didn't do rather than disproving what he said he didn't do and that is the only example I can genuinely think of sharpshooter fallacy the Texas sharpshooter fallacy takes its name from the metaphor of a gunman shooting and then drawing targets around the bullet hole clusters to make it look like he hit the target. It illustrates how people first figure out what their conclusion is and then go looking for data that supports it. Ign this is also called confirmation bias. Ignoring differences and randomness. Suppressed. Which means if people want to believe in something, they're going to look up things that support what they want to think rather than things that don't support what they want to think. Uh, and this happens to me a lot for people who hate me and it's like oh i don't like tectone they're gonna google why i should hate tectone or bad things tectone did not is tectone okay is tectone a good guy because they want to find more information that feeds into their own echo chamber hopefully that makes sense it's a little different but it's dangerously similar correlative the attempt to redefine one of two mutually exclusive options so that one alternative encompasses the other, thus making one alternative impossible. Something like, I need to know if we should stop for lunch or not. You are either hungry or not hungry, which is it? If being hungry means being able to eat, I am always hungry. Personal incredulity. I don't get that one at all, and I'll need someone to break that down for what that means. Fallacy. It's committed when the arguer presumes that whatever is true must be easy to understand or to imagine. Ambiguity fallacy. It happens when an unclear phrase with multiple definitions is used within the argument therefore it does not support the conclusion Gen what the fuck i don't know when the fuck that would ever be used but all right maybe john lennon does have six likes. genetic fallacy the genetic fallacy is the act of rejecting or accepting an argument solely on the basis of its origin rather than its con <laughs> wait should we ban smoking in public no the nazis were the first to ban public smoking uh okay I'm hoping what we're understanding right now is these fallacies are very difficult to understand and a lot of people misuse them. And that's why when somebody uses them, you should Google it or ask them to explain what they mean rather than accepting what they say at face value because a lot of people use them fucking wrong. Content. Middle ground fall- And a lot of them are also dumb and are never used. Fallacy. It's the fallacy that the truth is always in the middle of two opposites. Affirming a disjunct. The affirming- True. True, where it's like, oh, okay, so this guy said this, and then this guy said this, so they're both wrong. No, it's just not true. This happens a lot with content creators. I want to go back to this one, middle ground fallacy, where when one content creator trips and accidentally kicks somebody's dog, and the other content creator kills their entire fucking family, sets fire to multiple forests, and impregnates their wife. 
Well, they both did something wrong, so they're both at fault. This is what I see on almost every single YouTube video, which is, oh man, this is a nothing burger. They're both wrong. No. You just don't get to say that. Either say who fucked up more because people who fuck up severely can completely erase someone's responsibility for fucking up a little bit. And if a fuck up is made due to a miscommunication, it is not the same as a fuck up due to malice. Very different. Very, very, very fucking different. And I want to drive this home. A mistake due to miscommunication is not the same as an attack of malice. This is why being neutral is brainless, Mr. Pokey, because you need to weigh in on who fucked up more and did the people who fuck up do it out of bad intentions. That's why it's important to weigh in. That's why it's important to weigh the fuck in. Middle ground fallacy sucks fucking balls. It's so irritating. Like when I have content creators coming at me, coming at me, because they go after my personal life. And I say, this guy's a dumb fucking retard and his content sucks. It's not the fucking same. One is severely worse. It is severely worse. And one is due to self-defense. And self-defense is fucking fine. But the amount of comments that I see saying, well, they both fucked up. But you have to understand that what these two people did are way fucking different and should be held to the standard of which they occurred, not balance them out in the middle because you're too fucking stupid to understand the nuance in the middle ground. God, it's insane. Agreed? Any agreeers? <sighs> okay, Fortnite. Fortnite that the truth is always in the middle of two opposites. Yep. Affirming a disjunct. The affirming a disjunct fallacy occurs when, given an either-or scenario, you wrongly assume that if one statement or outcome is true, the other one cannot be true. Appeal to tradition. True. It happens. Yeah, like this thing right here. This is great. Affirming to disjunct. This is one that chat uses a lot. Uh, before, I asked if a title of a video was a hate train or not. And because they said, no, the title is clickbait, therefore it can't be hate training, uh, is once again a affirming a disjunct. This one's for you, chat. A title can be clickbait and hate farming. They can be both. Do you remember when you were doing that like 10 minutes ago? Do you remember? I remember. Things can be more than one thing. That's right. ...or outcome is true, the other one cannot be true. Appeal to tradition. It happens when we ignore the evidence that we should change because we have been doing something for a long time. Sunk... Uh, that's Asmongold. So, yeah, I don't have to clean my room. My room's always been dirty. It never, it never did nothing to me. Don't matter. It is what it is, dude. Cost fallacy. It's like when somebody... Here's a great one. This one is for gotcha players. The sunk cost fallacy is our tendency to continue with something we've invested money, effort, or time into, even if the current costs outweigh the benefits. Appeal to- I say that one quite a lot. Well, I've played Genshin for three years and I've spent $1,000 on it. Now I have to play it forever. Ignorance. It happens when someone asserts that a proposition is true because it has not yet been proven false or that a proposition is false because it has not yet been proven true. Continuum. I think that one is so reasonable. And I'll keep it a buck. I do that constantly. <laughs> uh, I think this is so reasonable. And I think there's no way to ever get around that. But yeah, just because something hasn't been proven doesn't mean that it's true. And just because something hasn't been proven true doesn't mean that it's false. Right? Because otherwise, you just can't act off of instinct whatsoever. And I feel like that one will never go away. I'm fallible.
Yeah, I'm on stream. What? I'm on stream. What do you want? Oh, I didn't know you were streaming. My bad. I was just trying to see if what we were doing. What we were doing? You want to do something? Yeah, I'm bored. Well, fuck. What you want to do? Just like get gay. We can be gay if you want. You want to be gay with me? Yeah, I guess if that's what you if that's what you want to do. What, does nobody else want to hang out with you or what? No, what I, you're the first person I called, dude. Shit. Uh, I think I'm farming. I think I'm farming Twitch for a little bit because I missed my chat. They were being good this morning, but uh, I'll, I'll hit you up if I end early. Okay, bad. Yeah, if you find anybody who wants to do shit, hit me up. Let me know what you're doing. I've right, bad All right, peace. All right, cool. Let's see. It's the argument that two states or conditions cannot be considered distinct or do not exist at all because between them there exists a continuum of states. Equivocation. I don't get that one. Somebody explain. The equivocation fallacy refers to the use of an ambiguous word or phrase in more than one sense within the same argument. Faulty analysis. What the fuck? Use of an ambiguous word or phrase in more than one sense within the same argument. A bat is a mammal. Baseball players use mammals because it's also a bat. That is the dumbest shit. Faulty analogy. Okay. A faulty analogy is saying that two things are alike in other ways just because they are alike in one way. Deni yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's fair. It's like saying like all Genshin and bat content creators are the same, which is not true. Denying the antecedent. Denying the antecedent infers the inverse from an original statement. It's something like, if you are a ski instructor, then you have a job. You are not a ski instructor, therefore you have no job. <laughs> That's insane, bro. I can't believe people actually fall for these fucking things. False cause. A false cause fallacy occurs when someone incorrectly assumes that something causes something else without enough proof, usually using just a correlation as proof. Definist. Yeah, absolutely. See, look, look at this ice cream sales and shock attacks. They're very similar glass, which means they must be related in somehow. Yeah, absolutely. This is a great one. I didn't I didn't memorize this one. Something causes something. Else. Correlation does not imply causation. Yeah, that's uh that's a really good one. A lot of these fallacies are the same. Uh but that's a really good one to use. Correlation does not imply causation. Very true. Else without enough proof. Usually using just a correlation as proof. Definist fallacy. It happens when one defines a term in such a way that makes one's position much easier to defend. Ecological fallacy. Term in such Before we argue about homicide, Let's define it as population control. That's very smart. Uh, instead of calling it a gambling game, let's call it a gotcha game. Because then they can't tell that it's bad. Ve yeah, let's not call Genshin Impact a gotcha game. Let's call it a open world RPG. And let's put gotchas as far back as we possibly can. Let's not call it gambling. Let's call them loot boxes. Let's not call it gambling. Let's call it surprise mechanics. <laughs> Insane. Such a way that makes one's position much easier to defend. True. Ecological fallacy. Ecological fallacies assume what is true for a population is true for the individual members of that population. Yeah, a lot of these things are just don't use blanket statements, which is what I argue quite a lot in my videos. Logical fallacy. Etymological fallacy is the faulty argument that the true meaning of a word is its oldest or original meaning. Quoting out of context. Sure. It's a fallacy in which a passage from a quote is removed from its surrounding matter in such a way as to distort its intended meaning. Con absolutely. Context may be omitted intentionally or accidentally. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is what happens all the time. It's like we're, it would be like saying, uh, Tectone loves to hit animals. When the entire statement was, Tectone would love to hit animals. is something that he would never say and he would never do. False equivalence. I, I get that shit nonstop. It's a fallacy in which an equivalence is drawn between two subjects based on flawed or false reasons. John bumped his knee. He got hurt. Fred got shot. <laughs> he got hurt. But it's way fucking, it's way different. And I talk about this shit nonstop. Like, this shit happens to me non-fucking-stop. It is insane. Well, Tectone called him a name. 
Uh, so th- let me give you a scenario. So some guy reacts to me for three hours and attacks my personal relationships. Yeah, but Tectone called him a bad name. So technically, they're both wrong. Uh, it's just false equivalence. And people need to understand that there's levels to this shit. There's absolutely levels. Well, Tectone called him a mint picker. Yeah, well, the guy went after his personal fucking relationships and attacked the people in his household. Yeah, but mint picker's pretty mean. Like, it's just not the fucking same, man. I'm sorry, dog. It's just not the same. Reasoning. Historian's fallacy. The- uh, guys, I-, I really need you guys to, next time Mr. Pokey goes live, uh, allow him to understand false equivalency. Uh, because I feel like that will really get him off the true neutral train. Historian's fallacy occurs when one assumes that decision makers in the past viewed events from the same perspective and had the same information as those subsequently analyzing the decision. Inflation of conflict. It's the error of exaggerating the amount of disagreement in a field in order to invalidate claims in that field. (laughs) This happens for guide makers fucking constantly, right? Like there will be a 1% difference between, ready for this? Ready for this, guys? Four three three one one versus four four one one one. There was a two percent difference in DPS. So we just have no idea what the fuck to do then. We got no idea what the fuck to do. Insane. Incomplete comparison. It's a misleading argument po- for early game. For early game. Popular in advertising. Since the assertion is incomplete, it cannot be refuted. Ludic fallacy. Wait, what? Popular to invalidate claims in that field. Incomplete comparison. It's a misleading argument popular in advertising. Since the assertion is incomplete, it cannot be refuted. I feel like that one's important to understand, but I don't get it. Can someone explain that one to me? Can someone give me a better... Can someone give me a better example of what that means? Kids do that all the time. Um, that means purposely missing out the flaws of a product to make it seem better. Nine out of ten doctors recommend this toothpaste. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I get it. Ludic fallacy. It's a term used to describe how people mistake the kind of uncertainty found in games for the kind of uncertainty found in real life. For example, organized competitive fighting trains the athlete to focus on the game and, in order not to dissipate his concentration, to ignore the possibility of what is not specifically allowed by the rules. Sure. Moralistic fallacy. Makes sense. Making statements about what is, on the basis of claims about what ought to be, in violation of fact-value distinction. Nirvana fallacy. Fair. Comparing a realistic solution with an idealized one and discounting or even dismissing the realistic. Nirvana fallacy. Making underage drinking illegal is nonsense. Kids will find kids will find a way around the rules. Solution as a result of comparing it to a perfect world or impossible standard. Now, do you know which one this is, guys? You ready for this? Hold up. This one should be familiar. Well, you said that Zenless Zone Zero was bad. Let me rephrase this. Well, you said that people can't call Zenless Zone Zero bad unless they've played or seen the entire game. That way they can give a complete opinion. However, they can also state it as their first impressions. But these people thought that you just said that Zenless Zone Zero, you can't talk bad about it. So it's your fault. It's your fault that people misunderstood you. What is bro yapping about? Let me write it down. Let's write it down. Okay. Content creators. I'll make it very simple. Content creators cannot be held accountable for misunderstandings made by their community. It's the whole thing. You can say, oh, just speak clearly and concisely and make sure everybody understands you at all times. Doesn't work that way. That is that is not worked that way at all. How does this apply to the fallacy? Okay, let's go back. Okay, I'm going to break it down for you. Fallacy. Comp- Nirvana fallacy. Comparing a realistic solution with an idealized one and discounting or even dismissing the realistic solution as a result of comparing it to a perfect world or impossible standard. 
Okay, make underage drinking illegal is nonsense. Kids will find a way around the rules. Reducing, not eradicating. Right? So for this, so the idealized solution is content creators should be responsible for everything their fans do. No. A con- you may have just found out you're a genius techie. We don't know. No, what I'm saying is, this is exactly what's happening with Twitch, isn't it? Yes. That, or I'm completely misunderstanding this. And that's why these are very hard. So it's one of the two options. It's one. It's either I have the complete opposite, or I have it right. I think you don't get it. You know what? You're right. I don't get it. I use this wrong. Okay. Yeah, I don't get it. So, okay. I understand this one now. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try this again. So what this is saying, when you make a rule and people dismiss it because realistically, some people will break that rule So therefore, it shouldn't be followed when in reality, making the rule isn't to make everybody follow it. It's to reduce the amount of people who do the thing that you don't want them to do. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. I get it now. Okay. Yep. All right. I get it. Great. Now I get it. So dismissing something. Oh, dismissing something because it doesn't have 100% effectiveness rate. How do I relate this to me? Ah, this one also applies to me. Okay, so dismissing something because it doesn't have 100% effectiveness rate. So that's why what I say is, is that content creators should make videos saying how they actually feel about Genshin Impact. And then another creator says, as if leaving a one-star review will do anything about it, as if making a video will do anything about it, I should be the only motherfucker being praised for fucking playing Genshin Impact. Okay, great. So this is the enviosity situation. Great. Okay. We found a way to relate it back to me. So this is enviosity. Great. Nirvana fallacy. Amazing. 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 Okay. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Great. Okay. So this is what we call the mint picker fallacy. Amazing. Amazing. I don't spend money. Fuck, 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 fuck me. Uh, It's also the Mr. Beast fallacy. People say he should do 150 houses instead of 100. Well, I don't know about that one. All right. But yeah, this is the mint picker fallacy. Great. Proof by assertion. Yep. It's a fallacy in which a proposition is repeatedly restated, regardless of contradiction and refutation. The proposition can sometimes be repeated until any challenges or opposition cease, letting the proponent assert it as fact solely due to a lack of challengers. You're doing this for content. You're doing this for content. You're doing this for content. Okay, I'm good. You're doing this for content. I told you I didn't want the call. You're doing this for content. Oh, okay, I'll just fucking leave then. <laughs> yeah, you see, he left because he knew I was right. Yep. Yep. Uh, He's not going to call me because he's afraid of me because he knows I'm right. Yep. Uh, And there it is. And there it is. Cherry picking. It's the act of pointing to individual cases or data that seem to confirm a particular position while ignoring a... Where's the proof? Where's the proof? But here's the thing. If you ask for the proof and they don't provide the proof, that's their fault. It's very different when someone says, you're doing this for content, and then you show with proof that you didn't do it for content, versus you saying, where is the proof of your accusation? Them providing nothing and you reaffirming it because you know they don't have it. So, significant portion of related and similar cases or data that may contradict that position. True. Psychologist's fallacy. True. It's a- Let's go back because chair is very important to understand. Challengers. 
cherry picking. It's the act of pointing to individual cases or data that seem to confirm a particular position while ignoring a significant portion of related and similar cases or data that may contradict that position. Tectone is always negative about the games he plays. What about Honkai Star Rail Wuwan's on the Zone Zero? Um, no, 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 no. Um, I was only talking about Genshin Impact. Oh, so hopefully that makes sense again. Hopefully that makes sense again. Uh, Tectone doesn't help the community at all. Uh, what about the voice actor podcast, the over half a million dollars he's done in giveaway, the over $150,000 he's raised for charity, the countless of smaller content creator he collaborates and highlights with React videos, and also the Discord server he made for the community to be able to talk to more together, uh, as well as also doing a lot of guides back in the day. Oh, well, no, nah, that doesn't make any sense. He's, he, called, he called this guy a mint picker. What about the weapon banner? Yeah, but he called this guy a mint picker. Great. But did he build me a house? No, exactly. All right, great. Psychologist's fallacy. It's a fallacy that occurs when an observer assumes that his or her subjective experience reflects the true nature of an event. Reification fallacy. It happens when an abstract concept is treated as if it were a concrete, real event. I thought he doesn't care anymore. Why is he still speaking about it then? That I don't care about what? That I don't care about what? Who, who am I talking about? Who? I have said no names. Have I, have I said a name? Have I said any name? I have said no names. Am I crazy? I have said no names. I am merely finding examples for chat to understand these scenarios. So, so, yeah, I have said no names, and that's very by design, okay? Because I'm not going to perpetuate anything, but I'm also not going to act like it didn't happen, right? And that's very different, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. I'm not going to pretend it didn't happen, all right? Cool. Anyways, let's continue. Something like saying that evolution selects which traits are passed on to future generations while evolution is not a conscious entity with will. Okay. Retrospective determinism. It's the thought that because something happened under some circumstances, it was therefore bound to happen due to those circumstances. Right. Thought terminating cliche. It's a form of loaded language, often passing as folk wisdom with the function of stopping an argument from proceeding further, ending the debate with a cliche rather than a point. Oh my God, dude. It's like when people say, oh yeah, this drama was a nothing burger. It's a nothing burger. It's a nothing burger. It's a nothing burger, man. I said it's a nothing burger. Therefore, we should not talk about it. Dude, oh my God. It's like, okay. Or we can acknowledge what fucking happened and stop saying that. It's insane. Fallacy of the single cause. It occurs when it is assumed that there is a single, simple cause of an outcome, when, in reality, it may have been caused by a number of small causes. This is Asman. Well, why'd they do it? Because they're stupid. Yeah, because they're stupid, and that's it. Yeah, because they're dumb. Yeah. Appeal to the stone. It happens when a dismissal is made by stating or reiterating that the argument is absurd without providing further argumentation. Ignoratio Elenchi. Ignoratio elenchi, also called missing the point, is the fallacy of presenting an argument that may or may not be logically valid and sound, but whose con conclusion fails to address the issue in question. The president's policies on healthcare may be popular, but he is a spy and should probably be investigated. <laughs> Those have nothing to do with each other, dude. Ignoratio elenchi! Circumstantial ad hominem. Stating that the arguer's personal interest in advancing a conclusion means that their conclusion is wrong. This tractor's the most reliable one. Yeah, right, you just want to sell it. Uh, this one is also... This one is also very interesting. Right? Because this one is, if you speak positively of a Hoyoverse game, that's because you're a shill. 
if you speak positively of a Kuro, uh, Kuro Games game, that's because you're a shill. Uh, if you do a sponsor, that immediately means that you don't like the product. Uh, this one is constantly used by viewers towards content creators. Tone policing, an ad hominem fallacy that focuses on the emotion behind a message rather than the message itself as a discrediting tactic. Okay, but hear me out. All right. Now, I will admit, I am one million percent of tone police. Okay, but let me explain why. Let me explain why. Because if you raise your voice to me one more fucking time, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. And if you raise your voice, I'm going to raise my voice. And you don't want that to happen. I'm doing this shit as a warning. And then they can say it again once they lower their tone. Okay? Because I'll be real, I match emotions. And I'm sure no one wants to see a screaming fight on Twitch. Okay? Because you got to understand, when emotions get out of control and then both people are angry, nothing's going to happen. I am 1 million percent of tone police. Absolutely. You ain't knocking anything out, homie. <laughs> okay, bro. Association fallacy. It's the fallacy that asserts that properties of one thing must also be properties of another thing if okay. both things belong to the same group. True. Appeal to accomplishment. It's kind of Yeah, Hex Juice. Hex Juice is uh Hex Juice is a um I can't think of anything of this one. This one's gay. Yeah, this one's gay. Someone give me an example of this. I feel like there's one right there, but I'm too stupid to think of one right now. Give me something. All Asians must be smart at math. Okay, uh, so yeah, okay, so this is like racism. Oh, wait, so this is just racism? Oh, that's insane. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Another thing, if both things belong to the same group. Appeal to accomplishment. It's kind of an appeal to authority fallacy. It happens when an assertion is deemed true or false based on the accomplishments of the proposer. Courtier's reply. This one has a lot to do with uh, Wake and Canute. These guys are jacked. They must know what they're talking about for working out because they're jacked. Then they tell me to do this goofy ass shit that just makes me feel like my bones are exploding. When a criticism is dismissed by claiming that the critic lacks sufficient knowledge, credentials, or training to credibly comment on the subject matter. Appeal to consequences. Knowledge, credential, apply. When a criticism is dismissed by claiming that the critic lacks sufficient knowledge, credentials, or training to credibly comment on the subject matter. Is that not a fair thing to do? Like, hey, bro, you don't even work here? Shut up. I feel like this is fucking fair. So, I guess this would be Gotcha Smack and EO for their fighting game argument. Right? Like, oh, you're not a fighting game player? You don't know. I think this one really depends on the circumstance. But I do also think it's also fine to discredit someone's opinion because they're not qualified. Is that a bad thing to do? I don't, I don't know. It's not because the counter argument doesn't prove your side. That's fair. Like, you don't need to be a mathematician to prove 1 plus 1 equals 2. That's very fair. But I think there are scenarios where this can be fine, and I think there's scenarios where it can't be, where it cannot be fine. I, I think it's really going to depend on the nuance. Appeal to consequences. It's an argument that concludes a hypothesis to be either yeah. true or false based on whether the premise leads to desirable or undesirable consequences. The stock market will go up this year. A lot of people will lose money if they don't. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the world sucks. Appeal to novelty. It happens when a proposal is claimed to be superior or better solely because it is new or modern. Bulverous. Yeah, guys, you got to get the new iPhone. It's crazy. You want to spend $1,400 to get it now. It is the assumption and assertion that an argument is flawed or false because of the arguer's identity. Chronologic. Oh, yeah. So this one's kind of just like saying you're biased. Yeah. It's like saying that Shinya can't make a good point on me because we're friends. Yeah, or like Hex Juice can't say anything negative about me because we're friends. Chronological snobbery. Chronological snobbery considers modern ideas superior to those from earlier ages just because they are modern. It's You're not getting it. It's a fallacy when someone says something and doesn't accept criticism from anyone other than an expert. Um, I guess I get that, but I think that's just being cautious. I really don't think that's that big of a deal. It's a form of appeal to novelty. Identity. 
Chronological snobbery. Chronological snobbery considers modern ideas superior to those from earlier ages just because they are modern. It's a form of appeal to novelty. I'm in. Yeah, so, uh, recency bias. So essentially, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen must be better than Naruto because it's newer. Okay. Title to my opinion fallacy. When a person discredits any opposition by claiming that they are entitled to their opinion instead of logically analyzing said opposition. By claiming that they are entitled. Yep! Uh huh! The worst thing ever! Yeah, well, I said all this dumbass shit, but it's my opinion, so I'm allowed to say it. Yeah, but it's my opinion, so I'm allowed to say it. You can't say anything about me, because it's my opinion. That's my head cannon, and that's how I feel. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, I remember that. I remember when you motherfuckers in chat, too, were saying, on uh, Tectone, it's his opinion, he's allowed. Sorry, man. They're wrong. If your opinion is wrong, then you're wrong. It doesn't matter if you say the trees are blue and my cat is purple. Unless you're from fucking Cowboy Bebop, your opinion is fucking wrong. An opinion can be wrong. Can an opinion be wrong? Let's Google this. Let's Google this. Google, Google, Google. Great. Here we go. Hold up. I had it. 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 Yes, that's why it's called an opinion and not a fact. Yes, but if your opinion, right, if your opinion is solely fucking wrong, then yes, it is a shit fucking opinion and you should be made fun of one million fucking percent. One million percent. This subject is way too nuanced and chat will not get it. Is he still talking about this shit? Bro, it's, we're, it's, we're 10 minutes of the video. It's fine. If your opinion is stating something is factual, then yes, your opinion is wrong. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. And also, even if your opinion is on something that you enjoy, your opinion can still suck balls. Case in point, opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one and they all stink. Hopefully that makes sense. An opinion is subjective. It is if it's about a subjective thing. Right, But if an opinion is about a fact, then it's also just not true. You can't say, I'm entitled to my own opinion. If your opinion can be objectively disproven, it was never an opinion in the first place. It was wrong about a fact. True. However, I reserve my right to say that your opinion sucks balls. Great. If it's based on a false premise, then it should be changed. Absolutely. Great. Entitled to their opinion instead of logically analyzing said opposition. Two wrongs make a right. It's an argument in which an allegation of wrongdoing is countered with a similar allegation. Uh, this one is true. Yep. Uh, two wrongs most certainly don't make a right, but it most certainly makes me feel better. If somebody fucks with me, I am going to fuck with you. TBH, your mom cleans my ass pretty well, so I think it smells nice. I'll kill you. Vacuous truth. A claim that is technically true, but meaningless. Such as claiming that no mobile phones in the room are on when there are no mobile phones in the room. Oh, okay, great. Fallacy, fallacy. It's saying that when an argument contains a fallacy, its conclusion must be false. If you like this format, check out. <laughs> True, dude. Insane fucking video. So moral of the story is uh, I'm right. Everybody else is wrong. Uh, hopefully this makes sense. I didn't mean that. Are you still here? Guys, we all make mistakes, but. You're, you're allowed to argue about someone else's opinion, and people really need to understand that. You are not wrong to have an opinion, but the opinion itself can be wrong. Absolutely. Absolutely. fucking uh, Anyways. Anyways, so the whole video is wrong. True. True. Yep. Real and true. 
Real and true. My dick fell off. Also true. My opinion is that you're stinky. Oh, Hex. Oh, you're going to make me cum. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yo, what's up? Can I leave the basement? Yeah, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Bada, 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 Good stream. What do you mean? I'm still here. How long am I stream for today? I think I've done five and a half hours today. I'm getting close to my quota that I like to hit. I like hitting six hours every day. Uh, very happy with how many people came out during the, uh, the old giga late hours. That makes me very happy. Uh, I am definitely sweating balls. What is the Coomer fallacy? Great stream. Tech don't release your family. Stockholm buddies. Uh, I really should. Uh, a Steorg video. Is power creep a thing in Wuthering Waves? This is something that I was actually very, very, very interested in. Uh, because I know a lot of people think that Jin C is an example of power creep, but I would actually like to see how he represents it before I go in. Um, you know what? I will say this. I do think while Jin C does do an absurd amount of damage, the amount of time that's required to do that damage consistently is kind of a lot. And you have to play a lot more difficultly during bosses in order to get the four four port combos out. And, and, okay, obviously, it's that you don't have the intro skill. Uh, it is a lot of work to do. So, while her damage numbers may be higher, I do wonder how much better people think that she is. Maybe I'm completely missing it, and maybe she's much more powerful than I assume, but uh, I do think doing damage as Kel Charo and Yin Lin is much easier, and they require much less on-field time. Jin C requires so much on-field time, it's fucking ridiculous. That being said, I think she's very, very, very good. Like, fuck, she's definitely the best character in the game, but I don't know if it's by that much. Maybe it is a much more considerable margin. Because I don't even know, is, is she that much stronger than Jian? Because Jian just beats the game auto. He just parries everything. Kaljar needs tons of on-screen time to do damage. Really? Because the way that I use mine, he really doesn't. Am I nuts? She's not. It gets boring to use. She's better. She nukes everything. Now you can swap, cancel her skills. Okay, maybe I'm just playing her bad. Let's keep let's keep watching this. Since we got Jin C and we know the kit of Shang Li, a lot of people were talking about the power creep in Watering Waves and how Jin C is so powerful. Okay. So today we want to know if this actually exists. Is the game having some power creep? And the main two characters that we're going to talk about are Ji Yan and Jin C. And I know. I would like also to say, I'm not entirely against power creep. Now I do prefer power creep in terms of animations and aesthetics, and I wish it didn't have to be game state. <laughs> However, it's usually both. And the reason why I don't mind power creep and I've kind of just like gotten over it as much as I can is due to the fact that it's actually very good for attracting new players. Because for gotcha games, when you start it up and you hear, okay, well, you have to get this, this, this character, but they've already passed, they're not in the game anymore, or there's a much lower chance or way for these banners versus, yeah, just get on and get the new unit and you're good to go. Uh, yeah, there's, there's pros and there's cons to power creep. Power creep is very good for new players. It's very bad for veteran players. Uh, so that's why they do it. A lot of people don't like to see a lot of graphs and numbers. So I want to make this video as fast and as short as possible. That being said, it also does keep the, the gameplay kind of fresh when a new meta unit's used for people who enjoy meta units. So I, I it's a very hard subject to actually determine is power creep inherently net negative or is it a net positive it's very interesting just to give you how it works so to start off let me say this jinsi is more powerful than ji yan this okay. is undebatable the cat really why is that it does more damage in less time and you can say that she can do five percent more damage half the time so we can say that she does ten percent more damage which is um I can understand that argument, but does Jin Shi, does she have an auto parry like Jian does? Because Jian, you don't even have to fucking think. Like, does she auto parry? Because I was using her and she was not auto parrying. It's in her E kit. Because, like, Jian can just auto parry by spamming left click. Kinda? I think on stage three. 
She's very easy to parry with. Yeah, but would we... Okay, how about this? How about this question? Is Dion's ability to parry easier than Jinshi's? Yes. Okay, then great. So then maybe Jinshi power creeps Gian in terms of damage, but does not power creep uh, Gian in terms of comfortability of play. Uh, maybe, but we'll see. A good number. So she's not really a big power creep for Jian. She doesn't blow him out of the game because sure. Jian also has something else that Jinsi doesn't have, which is the power of brain dead gameplay. Okay, so we talk about it. Great. Okay, I'm glad we're all on the same page. Yeah, absolutely. And the Onga. You could play this game blindfolded when you're in Jian's ult. Bonga counters. Jinsi requires you to play on a faster rotations to yeah. get some stacks and things like that. All you have to do with Jian when you press the ult is just click left click once and you're going to have so much free counters. So this is one point for Jian. Another thing is how good is he in grouping. So Jinsi is good at grouping by the way. This character is very good at grouping but still not better than Jian. So now if we look at it, Jinsi does more damage in less time so if you yep. want to do damage as Jian, Jian is going to be a little slow at the start but then he's gonna pick up and make the same amount of damage as Jinsi, but he will need more seconds to do all of sure. that while Jinsi will be already ending all of her rotation sure. but he's better at grouping and way easier to play but now if we compare both teams the Jinsi team is crazy good it's way more powerful and that's because of Yinlin. Yinlin is a very powerful character and if we put I still don't get why Yinlin works so well with Jinshi. Two characters that are limited, probably the best support for now, or the best sub DPS with Jinshi now. You know, compared to more Teffy, there is no comparison. And keep in mind, these calculations are in the current Tower of Adversity. And the problem with this is that this Tower of Adversity is good for Jinshi. So with all of that said, this explains why I told people who already got Jian and don't have a lot of posts to go for Shang Li instead of Jinshi, and people who got Yinlin to go for Jinshi easily. But if we look at it now, this is only 1.0. So I would say that Kuro passed the test of power creep. This is good. This balance doesn't look bad. Right. Also, Shang Li looks like the same thing. I cannot confirm Shang Li is not a huge power creep, but as far as I see, she's not even way powerful than Gen C. She can even have a little less damage output. So 1.1 looks like a success in terms of I've been told Shang Li was a sub DPS, not a main DPS. Of balance. But if we keep going with 10%, 10%, 10%. Percent in every single update in one year from now we will have new characters that are way way more powerful but which is usually how it goes with the odd exception every now and then but uh that's because they also scale up the difficulty of the mobs in order to make people feel like they need to play more and uh, spend more this will only be a problem if the content gets harder which it will the more we progress because then they will have it to will. add supports that do buff the older characters or new sets that buff the older characters or we will have the same honkai star rail experience which new characters are way better if you get them the game is way easier but if the content in weathering waves will have the same difficulty i don't think this will cause a lot of problems to players especially holograms and other modes the only problem will be the tower of adversity modes and we might get more modes in the future yep. that require stats more than skills so yes uh yeah absolutely and that's when it starts getting very depressing when a mob starts to feel more like a bullet sponge uh versus a interactable creature things and games get very 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 boring and genshin impact went down that route a very long time ago it is incredibly frustrating when i have to do the same combo on a mob over 15 fucking times to fucking kill it uh that's why i believe HP bars should remain the same. However, the frequency of attacks and the damage the attacks do should increase in order to go higher with player skill rather than how much money they spent or how lucky they got. However, there is a healthy middle ground. Kuro games have to be careful about this in the future, and I hope they are, but other than that, 1.1, there's no power creep in the game. Everything is good for now. If you have Jian, you didn't lose the game. Jian is... <laughs> True. Still very, very, very good. Anyway, if you don't subscribe now, you're going to lose your 50-50. Bye-bye. Banger fucking outro, bro. Banger fucking outro. It's kind of the same thing with uh, Honkai Star. That's why it's been so frustrating for me. Is because sometimes it just feels very overwhelming how much... It's not impossible, but it's certainly much harder when you don't have the new unit and the new buffs are like, this one really buffs break effect.
And if you don't have break effect, good luck. Uh, it's just like, oh, God, no, please. Have the buffs be more universal, please. God, holy fuck, it's so frustrating. Uh, wait, top comment on that video? Uh, what is it? Yo. Top comment on that video. I have been contacted by a great theory crafter that can clarify one thing. The longer the rotation, the better Jinshi's team becomes. That makes sense since Gian takes more time in his rotation. So if it's true that the first rotation only does 5% but can get up to 30%, the point of the video doesn't change, but it's worth noting. Chisha still solos. No. Yeah, no, she doesn't. Okay, anyways. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Check out Stewart. Peace. Answering what everyone wants to know. Incoming cat. Hey, everybody, and welcome back. To Is Jin Shi able to reproduce? Yeah, I'm good, man. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm actually curious what clips more Tectone has uploaded so far. More Tectone. Um, good. He can't keep getting away with this. Your son did a nuclear take on you? I uh, let's say. Yeah, as long as Pokey keeps on raiding me every morning, he can say whatever he wants, man. I'll be real. Bro is a... Bro. Damn, he gets away with saying the N-word. Now he's getting away with Lollycon? This is insane. Okay, so... I got really ex excited, and I wanted to light a hundred sparklers at the same time. Okay. Put the flares in the black cat. Dude, a hundred flares. What should I do with them? A hundred. All the time. Do we combo? Do we combo? You know what? So I wanted to do a hundred all at the same time because I was bored as shit. Dude, S fan is literally the fun police at fireworks, bro. It's so depressing. Okay. So I took a hundred flares in my hand at the same time. And Aspen goes, oh yeah, fuck it, do it, dude. And Aspen was taking mortars, lighting them, and throwing them like grenades. Bro, look at what happens. Holy shit. It's so bright. Did it burn so Watch this. Watch what's about to happen. Watch what's about to happen. This shit is insane. Hey, hey, use it to burn. It hurts so fucking bad. But I'm not a pussy. But I'm not a pussy, so it is what it is. Yeah. Dude, am I crazy or I literally went live in an attempt to uh, play more Zenless Zone Zero? And I still There's have I have no fucking time to play this shit, bro. It is like, dude, I am trying so hard to play this fucking game. And I just cannot for the life of me. I, I cannot for the life of me find time to play this shit. It is insane. Good God. Yeah. Every time I join your stream, it says ZZZ, but you're never playing it. It's not even my fault. It's, it's legit not even my fucking fault. Like, I'm trying. 
I am trying so hard. I don't know why I fucking love this song. Like, dude, I, I am in love with this chick's voice. Like, I am, I am in love with this chick's voice. It's so nice. <laughs> It's like this one. Wait, no, did they make a new one? Yeah, here we go. The time of the best Nikkei song, wing it then. Why does LGBTQSUDGHSGJAYUD preach acceptance, but they don't accept straight people? Uh, cause straight people are bad. Duh. Shit is ass. Yes, I do. Have you seen what it's like out there, Murray? Do you ever actually leave the studio? Everybody just yells and screams at each other. Nobody's civil anymore. Nobody thinks what it's like to be the other guy. True. You think men like Thomas Wayne ever think what it's like to be someone like me? To be somebody but themselves? They don't. They think that we'll just sit there and take it like good little boys, that we won't werewolf and go wild. You finished? I mean, there's so much self-pity, Arthur. You sound like you're making excuses for killing those young men. They not everybody, it. and I'll tell you this, not everyone is awful. But they were. You're awful, you're right? awful. Me? I'm awful? Oh, yeah, how am I awful? Yeah. Invited me on your show. Playing my video. Inviting me on the show. You just wanted to make fun of me. Yep. You're just like the rest of them. Yep. You don't know the first thing about me, pal. Look what happened because of what you did, what it led to. There were riots out there. I know. Two policemen are in critical condition. You're <laughs> laughing. You're laughing. Someone was killed today because of what you did. I know. How about a joke, Murray? How about another joke, Murray? No, I think we've had enough of your jokes. What do you get? I don't think so. When you cross I think a mentally ill loner with a it. society that abandons him and, and treats him like trash! Tell what you get! You get what you fucking deserve!
best, the best comic book movie made of all time. I, 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 I genuinely believe that for me, some of the most realistic portrayal of how a character came to be. It's just incredible. It is, it is just the, the writing's incredible. The casting's incredible. And my God, am I praying that Lady Gaga does not fuck up the fucking sequel. It's it's this and um, the Heath Ledger Batman movie are my two favorite and the original Iron Man. Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. The, dude, Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. is fucking Iron Man. He is Iron Man. There was a really good scene, this one. Is it better to be feared or respected? And I say, is it too much to ask for both? True. With that in mind, I humbly present the crown jewel of Stark Industries Freedom Line. It's the first missile system to incorporate our proprietary repulsor technology. They say the best weapon is one you never have to fire. I respectfully disagree. I prefer the weapon you only have to fire once. Yep. That's how dad did it. That's how America does it. Yep. And it's worked out pretty well so far. Find an excuse yep. to let one of these off the chain, and I personally guarantee you the bad guys won't even want to come out of their caves. USA! USA! For your consideration, the Jericho. That is insane. So cool, dude. I'll be throwing one of these in with every purchase of 500 million or more. To peace. Yep. Tony. Obi, what are you doing up? Dude, it is such, dude. Oh, fuck. You know what's crazy? I'm, I'm probably going to go back. I'm also, gonna, for the first time, ever going to watch American Psycho. I am so excited because once I end my stream, I'm going to go downstairs and probably watch half the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. But dude, oh my God, the original Harry Potter was just so fucking good. Ethan Page just won the NXT Championship. What the hell happened? Williams is heartbroken right now. Trent Williams is beside himself right now. Sean Spears is defeated. Dude, I fuck with Ethan Page so hard. Dude, I've been such a fan of him since AEW, dude. Hold on, let me, let me, show, you this, let me show you this theme song. Dude, he had one of the best theme songs with Sky Williams um, in AEW. Let me see if I can find this. Uh, AEW uh, top tier. Fuck, what were they called? What was there? Isn't it called? No, what, what was it? What, fuck, what was his what was his duo called with Sky Williams and AEW? Fuck, men of the year, men of the year. Thank you, chat. That makes me so happy that you would know. Dude, this entrance theme song was so fucking obnoxious. This entrance theme was so fucking obnoxious. It didn't even feel like wrestlers were coming out. It felt like two gay Europeans were coming out, bro. This shit was awesome. It's so dumb. Like that image kills me, bro. It is so fucking obnoxious. It's like, what the fuck am I watching while they're coming out to fight? It's so dumb. Can I show you all a guys a really cool theme song uh, of WWE? I want you to keep in mind the guy whose this theme song is killed his whole family and then killed himself in real life.
It's so fucked up. Cause this is a scary motherfucker. His theme was so sick. Fucking horrifying, dude. Who has the best theme song in all of wrestling history? The best one? Um, this is one of them. Th this is definitely one of them. This is one of them. Not the best. Not the best. But this one is so fucking good. The most iconic one is probably this. I feel like almost every single person, if you know wrestling, you know this song. With one second, everyone knows who that is. <laughs> like, everybody knows. And then if you, know, if you don't know that one, you probably know this one. No! Dude, or, or, within one second, you'll also know this one. Oh, it's still going. But who do I think the best theme song of all time is? Uh, I think most likely, I think whatever song is the best one is the one that provides the most impact. And I think this song is pretty much near perfect. And I think this is probably the best theme song of all time. And here's the crazy thing. I'm not even crazy about this wrestler. I actually hate him. But I can't deny the electricity that goes through my spine knowing that somebody's about to fucking die the moment this noise happens. <laughs> Horrifying. The moment this shit happens, it's insane. Now, what is the coolest entrance of all time? Let me introduce you guys to a little guy called Grado. Look, um, One of my favorite entrances Japanese. ever. Uh, you guys probably the haven't the seen this. Fuck my way, it's the bonus. This shit is so funny. Just give it a second. Grado! Give it a second. Please uh, you need to know Goldberg's entrance Robert to get this retro Tom entrance. Anderson. But if you know who Goldberg is, you'll enjoy it even more. What, what are we seeing here? I think what we're seeing... Hold up. As we are seeing an unscheduled... I think wrestling is about fun Scotland and not taking itself too seriously. England, and that's why this is one of my this favorite queen. entrances ever. This is why he's Gordon Ramsay, you're a legend. Is this Gilberg? Very close. It's this has been so personal. I 
This is indie indie. Like the independent independence. Hold up. Hold up. Why so long? Because it's a moment. And it's a moment you'll remember. Stanley Baxter, you lay out of Glasgow. It's for the damn title. Why are they yelling racial slur? They're, they're not. Dude, this song is so good. Down on my knees, I want to take you there. His entrance song is a song about getting on your knees and sucking their dick. It's so funny, dude. It kills me every time, bro. Especially this one. Ladies and gentlemen, about to see it loud and see it proud. Grado! It's just fun, man. It's it's just fun. It's just fucking fun. And then probably the most popular one right now is this one. This will probably get a cheap pop from chat. This theme song, dude, fucking people love this shit. Say his name and he appears. It's so good. I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Holy fuck. Cody Rhodes, man. His entrance is fucking insane. His entrance is fucking Fucking nuts, dude. Nah, dude, Cody Rhodes' entrance, WrestleMania 38, was fucking unbelievable. It was unbelievable. I wish I could get the whole entrance. Oh, fuck yeah. Wrestling, man. I, I actually intentionally try to not watch wrestling on stream because it is one of my favorite things ever. And unfortunately... Uh, if you guys were to watch two wrestlers, you'd understand a lot more about me. Um, and I'll just go ahead and say who those two wrestlers are. If you guys were to watch wrestling and you guys were to know who Maxwell, Jacob Freeman were and CM Punk, you would understand so much more about the persona I put on online <laughs> because I love those two so much. It's fucking ridiculous. Such a huge fucking fan of MJF. So good. That's why I miss it like this from old school. I feel like wrestling nowadays has lost its own its charm. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go uh, to Mr. McMahon. Dude, dude, Bro. Shinya, if you think wrestling still doesn't have something like this, you need to watch the current product, man. Really? It's so good. It's so good. I don't want any visitors. Just my family. I told you. Just my immediate family. I don't want any visitors. I also, I really want to watch this shit, but also I like refuse to have Vince McMahon on my screen because he's a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, I like, I like unironically really don't fuck with Vince at all. Uh, yeah. It actually pisses me off Bro, even just to see him straight up. Not wrong. We want Roman. I know, man. Dude, when he comes back, it's going to be fucking insane. Like straight up just fucking nuts. When you call my name... Like a little per CM Punk's return. Oh, dude, you want to see a crowd lose it? This was at the end of the show in Chicago, CM Punk's hometown at the end of Elimination Chamber. Nobody in the ring knew this was going to happen. They already aired the graphic. The show was over. CM Punk was missing for nine years in WWE, and the crowd never stopped chanting his name. And this is what happened at the end of the show.
God, the pop was insane. Insane, bro. Dude, it really sucks how the general public have made the barrier to entry into getting into wrestling so difficult, but it's quite literally this. Just suspend your disbelief, have fun with it, and watch really dumb people hurt themselves for fun. Oh, God, dude. It is it is so much fun. And don't take it seriously, because it's not supposed to be taken seriously. It is just pure fucking fun, man. I, I, I fucking love wrestling so much, man. I really, really, really do. Wrestling is Western anime? Absolutely. Did you see the Esports 2420 Cup system? No, I haven't. Uh, let me check something real quick just to make sure there's no videos I need to watch that are, like, pressing on time. Let me check. Is there anything I need to watch? Watch This on quest was in... Look in my eyes, what do you see? Cult of personality. I know your anger. I know your dreams. I've been everything you want to be, oh. I'm the cult of personality. Uh, when I was a kid, I liked Cactus Jack, although I don't remember much. Yeah, he was fucking awesome, man. Still was awesome. This end was actually fire to watch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your main event. The biggest douchebag in sports Remember entertainment. If Chris Jericho uses the Judas effect. He will be the biggest douchebag. Introducing first from Plainview, Long Island, New York, weighing 226 pounds, Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJ. All right, dude. Oh, uh, guys, shut. I, I fucking. I... Hey, bud. Hey, chat, I, 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 I enjoyed coming in live uh, for you guys again. And uh, what a fucking fun stream for me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I had so much fun talking to you guys again. Uh, if you guys want to chill again tomorrow, I would fucking love that. Uh, I'll be live again early. Um, I, I hope you guys had a great time. I had a fucking great, great time. This was just good. I didn't even feel like I was streaming. Uh, I appreciate the fuck out of you guys. Okay. Hope you guys had some fun. Uh, hopefully, I was able to help you pass the time. Uh, Mag oh, also, Magical Crafts Girl, welcome back to the stream. I haven't seen your ass in a bit. You're a chatter where I was like, oh, I remember I used to see your ass all the time. It's good seeing you again. Don't mean to be parasocial with you. But uh, yeah, I always recognize when chatters are very active and they disappear. So uh, it's good to see you again. It's very good to see you again. You're always here. Well, I didn't see your ass. Uh, regardless, uh, I appreciate all you guys. Thank you for chilling with me. Uh, I will see you guys live early tomorrow morning. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'm going to go watch some Harry Potter. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, if you see me put out a YouTube video, if you don't mind just going there and liking, would appreciate the fuck out of that. And uh, leaving a comment, that isn't fucking retarded. That would be awesome. Uh, anyways, good vibes, good looks. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Hopefully it was fun to pass the time. Thanks for chilling with me and listening to wrestling videos. I apologize for being a fucking mark. And uh, I'll see y'all later, okay? Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And I'll see y'all on the next one. See y'all tomorrow. Peace.